This public hearing is hereby called to order. Um, I would like to acknowledge um, the presence of the following senators uh, who are vi virtually present in this public hearing. Senators Grace Poe and I think Nanjan Ata si Sen Aimi Marcos. Um, with two senators virtually present, I hereby declare the presence of a quorum. Um, at this point, Comsen, can you please acknowledge the other resource persons? Oh, thank you, Chair, uh, Chairperson Binay, Senator Binay. Um, the Committee on Tourism, joined with the Committees on Environment, Natural Resources, and Climate Change, Committee on Finance, Committee on Public Works, and Committee on Basic Education, Arts, and Culture, would like to acknowledge the, uh, the following resource persons. From the Department of Tourism, we have Assistant Secretary Mila Sai and Director Warner Andrada. From the Department of Budget and Management, we have Ms. Ellen Tumang. From the National Economic and Development Authority, we have Mr. Leo Alan Halcon. From the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, we have Forrester Lemuel Salis from the Forest Management Bureau, uh, Ms. Maria Carmina Canua, also from the Forest Management Bureau, Ms. Um, Engineer Ralph Pablo, the Regional Executive Director of the ENR Cordillera Administrative Region, together with Ms. Claire Powid. Um, from the ENR Region 1, we have Forester Barbara Pernia. From Penro Bulacan, we have Forester Emelita Lingat. From DENR Region 3, we have Mr. Nico Angelo Dalusong. Also from DENR Region 3, we have Forester Ramil Gutierrez. From DENR Region 4A, Mr. Raymond Mercurio. From DENR Region 5, we have um, Regional Executive Director Francisco Milia Jr. Also from representing DENR Region 5 is Forrester Mer Merlin Francia. From DENR Region 6, we have Dr. Emeline Peñaranda. From DENR Region 8, we have Ms. Clari Marisa Solite. Also from DENR Region 8 is Ms. Ingelina Lantajo. From um, DENR PDS, we have Mr. Lloyd Bautista. Uh, from DENR Region 7, we have Mr. Reginaldo Bueno. Uh, from the Tourism Infrastructure and Enterprises Zone Authority, we have Attorney Maria Salve Aure Carillo. Um, also from the Department of Budget and Management, we have Ms. Kathleen Pilapil. That is all, Madam Chair. Thank you, Comsec Inda. Um, I'll just have a super short opening statement. Uh, the Committee on Tourism is in receipt of 111 Senate and ho House bills declaring certain areas in the country either as tourism development areas, farm tourism destinations, ecotourism zones, or as tourist destinations. Um, this public hearing is being called to enlighten us on the possible consequences if Congress passed these 111 bills into laws in relation to the following. The current National Tourism Development Plan, which is about to expire by next year. Um, the proposed National De Tourism Development Plan, if there is an ongoing work on this. The sustainability of the tourism industry. The Supreme Court ruling on the Mandanas Garcia case regarding the share of the LGUs from the national taxes, the internal revenue of allotment of the LGUs, the basic services and facilities devolved to LGUs under Section 17 of the Local Government Code of 1991, and the direction of the Philippine Development Plan, which is also about to end by 2022. Um, Alam mo natin, alam niyo ho, yung 111 bills so, uh, pending before the committee would require um, appropriations. And alam naman ho natin na uh, at the moment, uh, 
kumbaga every cent counts ngayon kaya uh, I call this hearing para malaman kung uh, among the 100 bills ano ba talaga yung uh, dapat i-declare i whether uh, it's a tourist des tourist um, tourism destination or ecotourism zones or tourism development areas with that I would uh, ask my other, my colleagues kung meron din silang opening statement Senator Grace, Senator Paul. Senator Nancy, I'm here to, uh, to observe and uh, to give support. Uh, as we come along, maybe I might have a question, but for now, I, I trust your efficient and competent uh, leadership. Thank you, man. Thank you, Senator Paul. Um, okay, as I have stated in my opening statement, Madam yes. Chair, Senator Pia. Ah, Senator Pia. I'd yes. like to acknowledge Senator Pia Caetano. Hello. Um, I'll just make a very quick statement. Uh, my signal is bad, but I'll move to a place that's better so I can uh, show my video. But uh, just to support you in your hearing, I appreciate that uh, this is being called and uh, Her Honor mentioned all the existing laws and uh, the, the plans underway because I think it is a difficult but um, necessary approach that we must take, that we look into all of these things. And my particular concern, as your honors knows, is sustainability, uh, given that I chair the Committee on Sustainable Development Goals, Innovation, and Futures Thinking. I truly believe that tourism is, is a major economic driver in our country, and that's why I appreciate that your honor is moving forward with all of this and that we're weighing all uh, the factors that affect uh, our tourism and we can determine what would be the best for. So on that note, uh, Madam Chair, I'll just be here to support and to listen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Caetano. Okay, as I have stated in my opening statement, um, 111 Senate and House bills po ang na-refer sa committee natin. Thus, as the implementing agencies of these proposed legislations, we are seeking your general views, comments, and recommendations on these bills. For the flow of discussion, we will hear first from DOT with regard to the direction of the tourism industry and the National Tourism Development Plan to be followed by DNR in relation for the harmonious balance of tourism and biodiversity in the country. Then DBM with regards to the budgetary requirements of these tourism areas and the Supreme Court ruling on Mandana's Garcia case, followed by NEDA, relative to the Philippine Development Plan, and lastly, from Tieza, in relation to the tourism infrastructures that will be needed if these proposed legislations will be enacted into law. With that, um, DOT, you may now proceed, please. Siguro, who, who will present for DOT? Uh, Asexe or Mr. Andrada? Um, good afternoon po, uh, Senator. Um, Madam Chair, um, Director Andrada will, um, will uh, proceed with the presentation. Okay. okay, please proceed, Director Andrada. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, basically, Madam Chair, uh, currently we are already preparing for the next National Tourism Development Plan for the year... 2022 until 2028, and uh, it's only currently forbidding for our uh, for the consultants to prepare the plan. However, before that, uh, the existing NTDP, uh, which was been reformulated this year due to the impact of uh, the COVID-19, has come up with the three strategies. Uh, one is to, to in, uh, sticking to the original first uh, is to maintain the sustainability of the industry. Second is to improve the competitiveness, uh, inclusive growth and sustainable tourism. And the third is to we included the strong governance wherein the destination management is now crucial. This is in response to the, also to the Mandana's ruling. And under that, uh, we identified a total of 
20 programs to strengthen the industry in the recovery during prior to the preparation of the next NTDP. Aside from the reformulated NTDP, the Secretary also asked us to prepare the, and update the Tourism Response and Recovery Plan, which is geared toward uh, sustaining and uh, supporting the supply side of the industry, which are mostly the affected business sectors. And I think that's the current direction, uh, Madam Chair, for the uh, industry stress policy. Okay, Director Andrada, um, yung yes. pending bills kasi before the committee, uh, yes. parang if you go through it, parang, um, paano ko ba sa sabihin to? Kulang na lang parang buong Pilipinas na yung madedeclare natin as <laughs> yes, uh, tourist destination, di ba? So, yung DOT, have you, have you, um, meron ba kay guidelines or standards na ito lang dapat yung... Uh, pasok at pwedeng i-declare as tourist destinations. In fact, um, nagugulat ako kasi uh, parang ngayon lang ata umabot ng ganong, ganitong kadami yung uh, naipasa uh, declaring. In fact, may mga ano pa, may mga na-refer pa na it's the whole province being declared as a uh, either a tourist destination area or um, part mm -hmm. of a tourist and development uh, uh, ano yan? zone areas, areas uh -huh. or tourist destination yung buong probinsya o kaya yung bu buong bayan. So, um, what is the policy of DOT? Uh, pali, uh, Madam Chair, the concept of ATDP, if you look at it po, it's designed to develop the, the whole country. Actually po, the whole country is the destination in itself na huba, di ba? ba? But the, the approach now is we clustered the Philippines into 20 clusters. And nine of that 20 clusters, we identified nine priority clusters. Po. So if you look po, uh, how the tourism development, it's looking at the connectivity. Uh, one priority is the access going from airport to the last miles of the destination. So given that, based on certain assessments and viability of the destinations, uh, that's how it was been come up with the nine priority cluster. And most of the nine priority cluster have existing or well-established networks of access both from international gateways or good airports. And that so it it's like a concept of the flower na kung saan yung core and until yung team mag-spread through yung development. And I think that's the idea ko of that development. And uh, the cluster are being connected based on the different access in terms of roads, infrastructure, seaport, airports, and that. So that's the whole the concept. Then overlaying the resources of each clusters and destination, then we can have a, a good uh, approach on the development. Then uh, part of the approach of the development of the NTD is using the convergence program. I think uh, one of the convergence program that was been very popular is the trip roads. Uh, in, we try to improve the different networks in last mile uh, leading to the destination hub. And uh, if you look at it, all these uh, criteria, and it always has a uh, a definition of a market base. So meaning uh, for us to understand the viability of developing a certain uh, destination, it should have been uh, a history wherein there's a market already or something it will be emerging uh, or existing. Uh, the whole country has a potential of tourism development, but in terms of rationalizing the development, we try to come up with certain criteria that will ensure the viability of the development. Um, so, would a declaration of a certain area as 
um, tourist spot or tourist destination. Mas may ano ba yan? May advantage ba in terms of funding coming from the OT? I think there's a lot of uh, uh, declared na pong mga sometimes na mga areas that I don't know how does the funding from the uh, it took yung viability po na nagkaroon ng, ng patasya pero nag-take off po yung development but uh, that's one oh, uh, I think uh, yun yung mga na-observe natin but it's still the market who says that certain development will prosper uh, if you look at some of the destinations right now wala naman po masyado silang edicts na nag-develop sila but like uh, but it's still the preference of the market but it's to st- uh, infrastructure stimulate the speed up of the flow of the market yeah. so for DOT would you support declaring a certain province as a development area I think uh, the, the concept na po Madam Chair is that uh, it's in the hands of the LGU to facilitate the development uh, I think when you say destination area it will be a combination of sets up a lot of set of attractions, basic facilities and accommodation and support services that will entail that it will become more attractive to the tourists. Pero hindi ba, Director Andrada, once we start declaring one province as a tourism development area, technically, yung remaining provinces, pwede din naman sila... Yeah, pa, Maging uh, tourism uh, development area dahil lahat, I mean, buong Pilipinas naman, uh, one way or the other, merong ano yan, uh, potential for for tourism. Yes, ma'am. Apa. Kasi po, ang tourism, it's not only the natural attraction, it could be a man-made attraction din po. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, so what would the policy be of the OT in declaring, ne, number one, yung, yung mga yan, yung provinces, would you support that? Declaring provinces as tourism development area? Kasi think, dati, yung... dati kasi ang declare lang is a certain tourism spot, di ba? For example, may, apa, apa. may waterfalls, di ba? Yeah. Or uh, ano pa ba yung usual? May mountain range or may, may dive spot, di ba? Yun yung uh, usual na declare um by law. But ngayon, nag, nag-evolve na siya eh. Naging pati isang, ano, isang LGU, yung buong LGU, nagiging, nagpapadeclare na rin as a uh, tourism development area. Uh, if you look at it, ma'am, the city already identified those guidelines up of yung, sabi ko nga po, yung cluster approach. No? Madam so, Chair, yung volume sana ng voice ni ano, Director, medyo pawala-wala. Yes. Director Andrada, yung, yung volume. Ma'am, um, nakatode na po. Yes. Uh, yes. Madam Chair, I think the, the NPDB already uh, as a policy na rin po. No? Uh, given that it identified 20 cluster and most of these are provinces din po and have a priority cluster of the nine. Uh, it's already identified all the uh, key provinces that will be developed for tourism. So, si Galiho, yan, as a, as a policy na rin ng, ng partner. Okay. Can, can you submit to the committee yung, yung 20? Yes, ma'am. That you mentioned. Okay. Papa. And um, I don't to my colleagues, if you have questions, just, you know. Yeah. Madam Chair, hindi ko kasi... Go ahead. Na- Hindi ko naririnig na maayos yung boses niya. So yung, yung pa-repeat lang, so is he, in response to your question, is he, are they supporting yung uh, province-wide? Was that a yes? Did he say yes and there's a number that he mentioned? Tama ba yung rinig ko? Uh, parang hindi, hindi, hindi practice, yes, hindi din no. Hindi. Okay, I'm trying to decipher. Do you need, baka naman, director, you need to talk about this with the secretary kasi I, I am very in tune with the with the question of our chair, no? Very specific yung question na yan. And I, I, I see her concerns. Baka you want to take time to think about it and then you have to submit the answer. Uh, 
So rather, uh, basically, ha, yung sabi ko nga po, if you look at the clusters, are, these are clustered in the provinces na po. As a policy din ng POT, adopting the uh, NTDP, when the NTDP was formulated, uh, all these uh, 20 clusters are sets of different areas, no? PDAs we call it. Uh, are, I mean, mostly are, these are provinces, 72 provinces. Which means, Director Entrada, but going by that policy, technically, parang hindi na kailangan ng legislation kasi on at your end, parang you're already kumbaga, in place na eh, yung, yung development of uh, certain destinations. Yes pa. Uh, uh -huh. Hindi ba, hindi ba ganun? Ah, kasi talaga sobrang uh, ano kayo, torn. And, and my dilemma right now is... Um, once I start uh, uh, ano ba to? Uh, approving yung declaring certain uh, areas as tourism development area, di ba parang that doesn't stop the other areas from declaring. Yes, uh, so babalik ako dun sa example ko na pag declare ko yung isang provincia as a tourism development area, uh, uh, di ba? Bandang dulo na ito, <laughs> baka yung lahat ng provincia na natin, tourism development area. So, Parang, buong Pilipinas na rin po. Oo, oh, buong Pilipinas na rin yung ano. So, eh, ah. eh di ba bahagi naman talaga ng mandato ng DOT is yes, to develop our uh, tourism destinations. Uh, yes po, uh, Madam Chair. Uh, Madam Chair, if you look at it, no, ganyan din po yung naging case nun sa ecotourism declaration ng mga sites. And when Senator Chis uh, chaired that committee that time, Ang isang naging decision na po is if I, sabi niya, if I will approve one, I will approve all, parang gano'n na. And it will not stop from what is, parang tuloy-tuloy na, parang gano'n na mangyayari. Yun ho yung isang point na naging... Uh, siguro, siguro on the part of DOT, ano ba yung kailangan talaga ng declaration? Walis... If you look at it, ma'am, it's not really the declaration, but rather how the LG will manage their destinations in the future. Tide, kasi, kasi di ba, or paano ba tayo, I don't know, baka si Sentia, mas matagal na siya kesa sa akin, paano ba nag-umpisa itong history na uh, pagde-declare either a certain uh, spot as a tourism destination, paano ba nag-evolve at naging requirement itong ano, pag-declare? Kasi um, if I remember it correctly, a few months ago, nagkaroon kami on the floor, para naging issue yung pag-declare lang ng Davao as a cacao capital. Diba? Bye. And, and nakikita ko, if I para bring this sa floor, isa yan din sa pwedeng erase ng mga colleagues ko sa akin. Na para what makes this uh, province uh, dapat i-develop as a tourism development area compared to another province or an LGU compared to another one. Titignan nyo, Madam Chair, yung history ng pagdedekli. Simula, I think yata, if you will bagyo as the summer capital of the Philippines, which was been used as a, as a market. Branding. That, yeah, po, yeah uh, it was more of a branding. Yes, ma'am. Tapos dinagtagal po, I think, nagaga, nagkaroon ng maraming fields and lumabas that then there's a palatilia that DOT provide funds for the master planning. And in PTA at that time, still, uh, wala pa po Chesa, it's still PTA uh, to provide you look at it, the mandate of the PTA as an infrastructure is to pilot development of the business, like what happened in Panawe and other stations that time. This was being piloted. The, so, so, sa DOT, is there a need to I declare? It's no longer, an, uh, there's no need for me, for my opinion. Po. Uh, if you look at it, uh, CESA is already mandated to declare certain tourism infrastructure zone, which will be an ideal to start certain development of tourism. 
Actually, sa DOT ba, may mapping na kayo of all uh, existing uh, tourism spots as well as yung may potential and emerging? Kunwari, let's say, sa isang LGU, ito yung meron siya. Meron siyang old church, meron siyang waterfalls, meron siyang lake. May ganong, may ganong inventory na ba ang DOT meron for the whole ilang, Philippines? No? Meron na po kaming ginagawa pero hindi ko pa na uh, namin na-complete ma'am yung inventory but we could provide you yung overlaying the traps or the key attractions currently na meron yung provinces or areas and then overlay ko yung mga other resources of tourism. Ipawin namin lang na-update po yung total inventory ng buong Pilipinas po. Can you submit that to the committee. Sige pa. Okay. Um, ano pa? Uh, we'll convert it to the JPEG na lang po. Okay. Um, uh, any other questions for DOT? Madam Chair, I have questions but I'll be able to ano, to open my video in about 5 to 10 minutes. So pakinggan muna natin yung DNR kasi okay. isang, ano, isang response na lang, isang comment na lang ako. Thank you. Okay. How about Senator Poe? Sen. Grace? Okay na. Okay. Can we call on DNR? Oh, Madam Chair, ComSec in the po. May we call on um, the, the regional directors po from CAR? We start with CAR because of um, recently, Mount Pulag has been declared as protected area and um, Mount Pulag also is a tourism destination. So, um, I think um, re Engineer Pablo okay. can comment po on that. Chair, before we call the regionals, wala bang ano, representative of DNR normally sa EMD yan? Para yung overview din na hinihingi nyo, di ba? Kasi otherwise regional, syempre kanya-kanyang region na yung i-discuss nila, di ba? Yes, Comsec. Meron ba tayong ano? Um, Yusek, ASEC. Um, for Yusek or ASEC level po, um, there were, there's no in attendees po, but we have attendees from the Forest Management Bureau, Mines and Geosciences Bureau, and from Biodiversity Management Bureau, and then mga regional offices na po. Okay, baka pwede din sa biodiversity. We can start with them. Comsec, sino yung ano? From biodiversity. Um, Madam Chair, nag-confirm po si Mr. Reneo Vicente. He's Ayan, a senior see ecosystem na. management specialist. Ayan, nakikita ko na siya. Yes. Mr. Vicente, please proceed. Ay, nakamute ka ata. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, Madam Chair, uh, good afternoon po sa inyong lahat. Uh, the, Bio the Biodiversity Management Bureau of the DNR, headed by our... Uh, New Director, Dato Tungko M. Saikol, thanks the committee for inviting us to share our recommendations and uh, inputs. Uh, please bear with us as we cannot provide at this time a comment uh, per bill. So our comment is generic and it, and it applies to all uh, the proposed measures. First of all, we have noted the, and we appreciate the provision in the bills declaring to recent development areas that seeks to harmonize the functions and responsibilities of the proposed tourism councils with the functions of the PAMBI in every protected uh, area, the protected area management offices, as well as the regional ecotourism committee. I would like also to note that the members of the protected area management boards are almost the same government officials composing uh, the tourism development councils enumerated in the bills. We also appreciate the establishment of Tourism Development Trust Fund that will be used to finance projects that will enhance tourism. 
this fund is a potential source of fund to be used uh, to protect and conserve the natural attractions. On the 80 bills declaring areas for ecotourism development, we express no opposition for the enactment of these measures since the adoption of ecological tourism is a better and timely alternative over the traditional form of tourism in safeguarding our natural tourist destinations and in improving the livelihood of local communities. Income paid by visitors is also a sustainable source of financing for the implementation of management plans of protected areas covered by these proposed ecotourism sites. In line with this and uh, consistent with the principles of ecotourism, we recommend the adoption and, and implementation of ecotourism in all natural and heritage areas to promote their conservation as well as the inclusive development of local communities. Further, uh, we stress the importance of including the DNR in management councils since it is the DNR who is primarily accountable on the management of natural resources, especially forest lands and uh, protected areas. In this way, the DNR will not be deprived of its role to conduct site assessment in consideration of the identification of suitable sites for ecotourism, the conduct of carrying capacity study, uh, and the formulation of management plans in consideration of its mandate and environmental uh, requirements. Just like the management of protected areas, the, man, the, the management of ecotourism sites, especially the biophysical components should be based on science and on established guidelines for which the DNR already have ample tools to do so. Uh, though we still need the academe and the scientific community to keep this updated. So with this recommendation, ma'am, I return the floor to you, Madam Chair. Thank you very much. Any other position from DNR? Uh, Madam Chair, we have um, forest, the Forest Management Bureau presented okay. by Forester uh, Amy Rabang and um, Forester Lemuel Salis. Okay, please proceed. Good afternoon, Madam Chair. Um, in support with the comment of the BMB, our office also supports the passage of the draft bills um, proposing for the declaration of certain areas to as tourism development areas or ecotourism sites. Moreover, may we also suggest that the provisions or statements regarding the DOT to prepare the development plan in coordination with the LGUs and TIESA be explicitly provided in all the draft bills and the development activities to be implemented by LGUs. We also suggest that environmental safeguards be also provided uh, so that to ensure the activities in the development plan are consistent or in line with the existing environmental rules, laws, rules, and regulations. That's all for us. Thank you. Sina yung next. Madam, Madam Paba from DNR. Madam oh. Chair, from the Mines and Jail Sciences Bureau, Madam. Yes, please proceed. Please uh, introduce the, yourself. Hindi, hindi ko kasi nakikita. Director Wilfredo Moncano of the Mines and Jail Sciences Bureau. Um, uh, we are not inclined to support the draft bill because there are already existing legislation uh, setting aside the tourism development areas. No, We are worried uh, by declaring an entire province, for example, as uh, 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 tourism development area because it is sweeping and uh, it is uh, it is all encompassing. Uh, in, uh, under the Mining Act and the implementing rules and regulations, once an area is identified as a tourism development zone, it uh, prohibits or prevents uh, mining applications over those areas. And uh, for all we know, the country is highly, some of the you know, identified uh, areas for tourism development are highly mineralized. 
And in fact, uh, for Ilocos uh, region, we identify this one as our uh, uh, pillar or our area for development to, for, our, uh, the, for the establishment of uh, integrated steel mill for our industrialization because of a lot of iron in the, uh, uh, in the form of magnetite sand in those, those areas. So that's why um, uh, we just wanted to be clarified if there will be, if this, for example, if this uh, bill will proceed and becomes a law, uh, we are just, we just want to be clarified if there are technical descriptions setting uh, boundaries uh, over these areas as tourism spots, because if it is all encompassing and sweeping declaration of the entire province, that will prevent the area from being uh, utilized uh, for mineral use, no? mineral uh, extraction. So that is our position. Uh, Madam Chair. Okay, thank you. Actually, in, in some of, well, most of the bills, wala nga siyang ane, technical description and even boundaries. So, isa din yun dun sa um, uh, napansin natin when you were going through uh, uh, the referred bills. Okay, may, meron pa ba from DNR? Or, ne, pero parang ano lang, Nalilito lang ako kasi you're, you're coming from the same family with different position. Actually, Madam Chair, um, when it comes to the, the bills, uh, the areas that are already declared protected areas or whether by, ano, ha, by executive order or by law, by law. Um, under the NIPAS law, it's really the BMB who you already called on at first. That is really the um, recognized uh, government agency overseeing them. So if I may somehow respond to your question na iba-iba sila, <laughs> pero si BNB ang dapat natin, ang main na ano dyan, when we talk about ecotourism areas, okay? I, I, I can see the point of uh, your last resource person on a different topic, pero si BNB ang sa ecotourism areas. And when the time is right, let me know because I'm ready to give some yeah, observations. Please, please, please proceed. Please proceed. Please proceed. So, uh, I'll start na lang from the latest uh, the, the, the latest statements no on um uh, the statements made by BMB. Uh, I affirm that because I used to chair the committee on uh, uh, environment and natural resources as well and under when I was chair we passed a few protected area bills. So I'm quite familiar with them. And under every protected area that we, that is declared there is a PAMB, which is the Protected Area Management Board. So, yung pinag-uusapan na may council, ganun na yun, Madam Chair. So, if the, and of course, as you said, there's 100 bills, no? I, I have not seen those 100 bills. They're probably, they, they go from from all extremes, no? Not not all would be ecotourism sites, but I'm just carving out, if we're talking about ecotourism being the, the main site, no, of that area, May pa, meron ng pambi in the area, whether, as I said, it's an executive declaration or a, uh, a, um, a legislative declaration, and um, that, that the council is there to oversee it, um, and so is the DNR's BMB. So I'm, I'm concerned that there would be duplications, and that's why, like you, I'm asking from guidance for guidance also from the agencies to kindly dive in deep no, on how you would... Uh, present this to us because syempre kami, we also want to help our LGUs, di ba? But kayo magsabi din kasi kayo nag implement ng mga laws. It just so happened, Madam Chair, that I'm familiar with some of them because it passed through me before. So that's one comment no, on the ecotourism sites. Uh, the other comment I'd like to make is, uh, as you and I both know, um, a lot of our famous sites now grew organically. No? So like Chargao was recently... Um, was it what is it identified or nominated as the top? Wow, the top no destination site. Uh, is it Condenas? No, something. Yeah, Condenas. I think Condenas. Yeah. So can you believe that? I mean, that's amazing. Now, <laughs> I have to say, I, I personally believe, and some anyone can correct me if I'm wrong, that that growth and development there was organic. Napakahirap pumunta sa Shargao, ha? and yet, I mean, now nagka flights na, but it's not even daily flights. But, um, you know, there was a time where you have to fly and then take a boat and, and the roads are really bad and yet not grow. And part of it is demand internationally because of surfing. And that's the same way La Union also grew organically. Um, La Union is not an easy destination even uh, for Metro Manila residents. There's Cavite, there's Batangas, 
there's so many other, there, there's Pangasinan, a lot of which are closer, but maybe it's an international demand no? because surfing became an international sport. And we all know that uh, when the foreigners come, um, then, then obviously tourism, there's a boost in tourism. So I mentioned that, Your Honor, because of her honor statement that ano bang hinihingi nila sa atin? What are we expected to do here? What are the demands on, on the resources and on the budget? Because if these destinations, and I also uh, take note of her honor's comment na hindi ba destin, ano to, site-based, hindi province-wide based, no? It's site-based, eh. So how did we grow? And I don't, and I, I would imagine it's just an LGU desire. How did we go from a site tapos biglang naging buong uh, probinsya na, no? And what my biggest concern is, her honor is correct in mentioning uh, the Davao Cacao um, bill that we, we, we deliberated on in, in the Senate is you recognize one to the detriment of not recognizing others. So if we were to recognize the top 20 falls, how naman si 21 to 30 to 40? Because there's more than 100 beautiful falls in the Philippines. So I would propose, and although I haven't read the bills in detail, I would propose that DOT really sits down and come up with a proposal for us on how to handle these 100 bills because um, we want to support, but uh, tell us what your parameters are, which is what your honor was saying, right? Na, ano ba direction nyo? Because um, the way I look at it is if the organic growth can happen anyway, okay? And we are dealing with this in the time of pandemic. Baka naman yung support natin for all of those who have organic growth anyway, then maybe we can support by way of health interventions. Her honor is always active in, my, in our health hearings as well, no? And uh, we all know that wherever we go, there's still a need to improve our health condition. So it being a tourist destination, her honor will recall, but there have been some reports na um, pinupuntahan tong tourist destinations natin, pero pag may na-accident dyan, delikado tayo because we don't even have... Well, facilities. Uh, facilities. So maybe yeah. the intervention can be like that, right? Like, is there a bill among the 100 that, that calls for the upgrading of uh, health facilities and tourist destination? And Her Honor and I both know very well, with or without that bill, we can do that. We can do that in the budget, right? So I, I go back to Her Honor's question, kailangan ba itong mga bills na ito? Having said that, I'd be happy to support a bill of that nature, that it is not, it is not um, geographically uh, or destination-based, but it's on a need basis. Eh, di lahat ng, ng nakakatanggap ng a certain number of tourists, they should have decent health facilities. That's the intervention I would like to make, right? Um, and, and similar interventions like that, maybe, uh, I don't know, to, to really look at the bigger picture, uh, sustainable development, then we would have perhaps um, uh, interventions in the SUCs so that their courses are geared towards tourism, which is kind of already happening. But those are the the sustainable um, picture that I want to see. Otherwise, uh, the concern of her honor will really happen that we declare one to the detriment of the other not being declared. And where do we where do we begin? Where do we end? And the overlapping because of, like I said, there's already um, BMB and each destination has a PAMB. I think Senator Grace would like to be recognized, Madam Chair. Yes. Please proceed, Senator Grace. Um, I, I think that Senator Cayetano mentioned about health facilities in tourist destinations. Of course, in all areas in our country, ideally, there should really be uh, top health facilities that can address the needs of the individuals there or the, the people. On the other hand, it's true that we've heard horror stories of tourists going to certain areas, even popular Shargao, where unfortunately, um, the local health center there is not equipped to treat certain emergency situations. Like, uh, for example, in my family, some of us have um, severe allergies. Uh, just the very basic uh, epinephrine that needs to be present in these areas. I'm not sure if they even have that or a defibrillator or, or things like that. Of course, when we advertise, um, we wouldn't want our, our islands to be known as a place that when you go, you're really at risk um, health-wise or if there's an emergency. So maybe uh, the DOT can also coordinate with the Department of Health to see if our facilities in those areas are at least uh, within standards. Of course, as a mother, we're always thinking of those things. That's all, uh, Senator Nancy. Thank you, Senator Cayetano. Thank you. Um, Senator Cayetano, any more 
yeah, commentary no, question. That's it, Madam Chair. So basically, I'm just supporting the observations that uh, you already made um, because I'd really like to see how we can happen, how, how we can support through your committee uh, on key bills. No, but baka pwede naman salain kasi I would have my reservations also on the uh, the per per province area because I always believe and and. I'm, I'm really delighted that you mentioned it. We, we normally fail to say that when we declare this, basically we didn't declare somebody else. no? And and how do you then support everyone? who You, you, you said it yourself, Your Honor, lahat naman ng, ng probinsya dito sa Pilipinas may potential naman maging, ano eh, maging tourism site. Eh. Lahat, lahat naman talaga. So where do you draw the line? And I guess I, I will end with a question to DOT. Um... Similar to what I proposed dun sa Davao Cacao bill was uh, do you have, and if you don't, can you then propose um, a set of parameters where you then can recognize certain, parang, parang di ba, Madam Chair, parang uh, yung hotel, di ba? Pag sila nung five-star, may, 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 you, under, you understand what five, a five-star hotel looks like. And I kind of have an idea what a two-star hotel looks like. It's a world of a difference, right? And I think there are very clear guidelines. Like at a certain point, may, may, may swimming pool yon, may fitness studio, di ba? And the rooms, I think, have to be a certain size. So may ganun ba ang DOT? Because I think that would be a big help already as it is. So that they aim, these destinations aim towards that. And once they have that seal na this is the, the standard that they have met, I think that's, that, that is the best. And then maybe that could qualify them for future support, right? Because, like I said, a lot of them can begin organically. Eh? And even their, the, the crowd that they draw uh, doesn't have to be international right away. But um, I don't think you can start from zero unless it is a DNR-determined protected area or a historically de de uh, determined area. Then in that sense mangunguna si national government and put funds in, right? I think there's got to be a di distinction between the two, eh? between the nationally determined because there's historical significance, uh, which already is by law determined, and itong environmental significance by way of the NIPAS law. And, and siguro just to add, um, Senator Pia, baka isa din that's a frustration on the ground is pag, hin pag wala itong mga declaration, Baka DOT, hindi sila papansinin ng DOT. Di ba? I mean, for example, Siargao, di ba? You, you said it na organic. Tapos nung lumaki na siya, dun lang nag-step in yung national government by fixing their airport, uh, fixing their roads, di ba? Nung nakita nila na sandali, may potential pala to. Uh, not the other way around na uh, DOT will develop a, a certain destination. So baka dun nagkakaroon ng dun nakikita on the ground na parang there's a need to declare certain areas yes. as a tourism development area. Baka Madam Chair, what 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 we are both kind of vaguely conceptualizing is that may standards when the OTR comes in. Like for example, there can obviously be a municipal municipio, a city, or a provincial wide declaration, di ba? Kasi that means they themselves recognize and will pour in funds initially. But at some point, they say, wait, we can grow bigger and we want national support. When does that happen? I guess they want it to be clear. Kasi hindi yung para, bakit naman si ganon? Dahil malakas yung congressman nila o yung mayor nila. Nagkaroon kami. Mas matagal na kaming ganito. I, let's be honest. Yeah. Na, ganun yun eh. So sana may standards para they would know that if they meet the standards, na, local tourism pa lang nila, umaabot ng... Uh, whatever, 1,000 per weekend, oh, that, then they deserve some kind of um, support or whatever. I think that that's what is needed so that we can um, have some semblance of uh, um, organization in, in how we're going about this. Yeah, Thank you. but you know, you, you pagdating natin sa tourism development, nagkaroon ng panibagong dimension due to the Bandanas Garcia ruling. So maybe we can uh, get the opinion of BBM. Kung ano ba yung support na pwedeng ibigay ng uh, national government. Kasi nga, uh, itong tourism development is one of the devolved functions. So, uh, hindi ko alam, kasama ba to dun sa uh, nilabas nila na pagdating sa tourism development, kailangan it has to be the LGU uh, supporting it at hindi na pwede yung national government. Um, DBM? Oh. 
Good, uh, good afternoon po, Grace De Los Santos po. Yes, okay. please yes. proceed. Sorry, Mama, hindi ako makapagka-video uh, kasi medyo mahina ang, <laughs> ang aming uh, signal. So, okay po, no problem. Okay. Gen in general po, uh, we support naman the general intention of the enumerated house bills which are which uh, to recognize or promote certain munis municipalities in the Philippines as ecotourism zones or tourist destinations. However, considering that the proposed measures are uh, location specific, meaning um, specific uh, lo uh, localities lang po, we recommend that the corresponding cost should be charged against the LGU lo local funds. Kasi nga po, uh, evolved na po yun sa kanila. So, Hence, funding requirements for the well, the same should be charged against respective development funds of the LGUs. And as of you mentioned, ma'am, uh, with the Mandana's uh, ruling, uh, uh, the LGUs will be able to do that because they have more funds to develop their uh, to develop their own uh, potential uh, potential tourist spots. Um, however, the DOT, on the other hand, can provide technical assistance and trainings to the concerned LGUs with regard to the preparation of the respective tourism development plans uh, and says local tourism development plans should be consistent with RA 9593, which is the Tourism Act of 2009 and the DOT's National Tourism Development Plan. Pero ma'am, pwede rin naman po sila kasing pumasok doon sa meron po tinatawag na Tourism Development Convergence Program of the National Government with DOT as the lead department at marami pong participating agencies dyan such as the DPWH, the DOTR, the CHED, CHESA, DOST, PAAP, DOH, DILG, DOJ, DNR, DFA, marami po dyan. So kung ano man po yung uh, need ng isang tourism, a potential tourism spots, pwede po naman ipasok dyan ng DOT sa, develop, sa Tourism Development Convergence Program. So dyan po papasok yung, ano, yung if ever, yung kung kailangan ang intervention ng national government through several national government agencies. So, so ma'am, airport, yeah, So, so Ms. De Los parang yeah. kunyari, yung kalsada, pwede pa rin kaso sa na DPWH. Yes, ma'am. Opo. The, basta po, ay sasama lang po ng DOT sa doon sa convergence program nila, wherein ang link nila is with the DPWH. So, in a way, so pwede din nga, pwede din nga maging crucial yung de declaring a certain Desti kunyari, a certain destination kasi pwede sila mag-avail nung uh, itong road network through DPWH. Hindi ba ho ganun? Na kailangan, kailangan pa ba ng, ano, meron, ng uh, batas? Sa, sa, sa uh, Tourism Development Convergence Program with DPWH, uh, ang ano po dun ay eh, roads leading to tourist spots or tourist destinations. Yun po. Yung trip C. Yes po. So pwede so, po yun. So technically, kung tutusin, for as long as kasama siya dun sa plano ng DOT, there's no need for legislation. Tama po ba? Basta pasok siya dun sa convergence. Yes po. Kasi nga po pag ano, yung po kasi ating legislation as mentioned by other by other resource persons, parang magiging, ano po eh, magiging redundant na. Kasi nga po, uh, unang-una po, uh, unang-una, naka-ano na nga po yan, naka na sa mga LGUs. Di po ba? So, kung may ang LGUs, alam nila na meron sila potential na tourist spots, hindi na po kailangan ng legislation, dapat from their own development funds, sila na po ang magpapondo para ma-develop nila yung kanilang mga, mga uh, tourist sites. Okay. Okay, thank you. Siguro, um, can we hear from Tiesa naman? Madam Chair, I just forgot to make uh, one more comment. Can I just... Uh, yes, please proceed. I forgot to mention, no, and na na remind ako with this um, statement from our from DBM na nandiyan na yung ibang um, nandiyan na yung setup. I forgot to mention na 
yung concern ko din was, would be the duplication of organizations and councils. So, n- not just the overlap of the law itself, ha, but the creation of new councils which would require stipends, allowances. In this time, nahirap, nahirap tayo. And your honor, uh, chairwoman and I, you're, we're always in the same hearings na we don't know where to get enough funds for health and education. You need to be very careful about creating new new organizations that have a, a, a you know an executive director and members that have to be paid and the next thing you know ang request not is an office so i really have a hard time um pursuing it in this manner right now um madam chair and the reality there is if you look at a lot of destinations it is either private private citizens driven the locals not on their own you know their their passion for their their place for their ocean for their wildlife is what drives it, followed by also an equally passionate mayor or, or governor. Eh. So they yeah. have ways yes. to, to promote that without without creating a new council, a new authority. So that's my humble submission. And I and sorry to say, but on the floor, I will also, I will really take that up. And I know that's what you're avoiding, <laughs> di ba? Na, na doon when we know that um, we really have limited resources right now. Yun lang, Madam Chair. Okay, thank you. Um, can we hear from Pieza? Yes, good afternoon, Madam Chair and um, Senators and other resource person. Um, regarding po sa, uh, I, we noticed po uh, in relation to the bills that are presented before us that mainly Pieza's involvement is regarding, a, um, I think, um, preparation of master plan, the tourism development uh, tourism development plans and um, implementation of the tourism development plans. Um, in relation there to um, CESA supports the intention of the proposed bills. However, due to the following reasons, which is um, under the 9593, the local or and the local government code, LGUs have the primary responsibility to formulate their own tourism development plans. So we suggest that the main uh, that 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 the LGU should be the one that uh, that should be the main uh, the main main agency to 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 do uh, to prepare the tourism development plan. So second, it's is the funding of LGUs have um, significantly increased due to the Bandanas ruling. Third is that the government has issued the policy of full devolution of basic services projects to the LGUs, including tourism development planning. Fourth is that TIAZA as national government agency is prohibited in um, to, pro- prohibited to fund devolved services and projects of the LGUs due to the Mandana's ruling and the uh, and full devolution of uh, the policy policy of the government and Chess's re- and due to Chess's remittance of the nine million nine billion to the DOF DBM due to the COVID pandemic, um, we have remitted the the nine billion to the uh, uh, May. To the DOF and DBM. However, also um, we submit that we can undertake tourism development planning of those that may qualify under the five percent mandatory allocation for eco tourism area development planning or projects, but subject to qualification and prioritization, and those involving fifth and sixth class LGUs only. Uh, likewise, we would like to manifest that we will be submitting our official position paper on this, Matt, on, on this bills. Thank you, Madam Chairperson. Okay. Thank you, Attorney Carillo. In fact, nangihingi na nga kayo ngayon sa budget for your operating <laughs> expenses. Yes, yes, I know po. Na, I, I'm not really sure kung kailan po yung naging hearing po namin, but we really are asking now for budget. Yeah. So, well, may you guys all then meron din funding problem which dati alam naman natin kay yung number one source of um funding lalong lalo na dun sa development of um tourism master plan. Uh, hopefully, 
Yes po, yes po. And hopefully we can soon recover na din po with that uh, collection of travel docs by next year or this, or this probably, parang di pa kaya this year, baka next year kaya na, kaya na po. Okay. And that's may nabanggit ka dun sa, um, well, technically, itong mga LGUs can can still avail. Basta pasok sila dun sa um, requirements nyo dun sa 5% ecotourism yes po, yes po. Uh, projects nyo. So, hindi naman automatic na parket may legislation declaring uh, a site as an ecotourism. Automatic, um, they can already avail of that program. And then, oh, they still have to go through the, the process. Uh, as far as I know, we... we... Kapag submitted po as uh, we submit to the to the um, Senate and the House of Representatives, if there is specifically a uh, uh, provision sa bill, na it it would boil down to the OT and and Kiesa. However, um, kaya din po namin inopost na muna ngayon yung paglagay ng DOT and and Kiesa as the main agency for the TD for the preparation of the tourism development plan is because there's already a devolution of this powers the LGUs and due to the Mandanas ruling po. Pero yung mga LGUs, di ba, pwede din sila mag-apply sa inyo as a enterprise, tourism enterprise zone? Di ba you do that? Yes, yes po. But subject to uh, our guidelines po na na medyo uh, subject to the guidelines provided sa ng 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 Tiesa po. And yeah. board approval po. Yes. So, hindi nga automatic kahit ipasa namin declaring siya as ecotourism. They still, the LGU, they still need to go through your process. It, the, the declaration of tourism enterprise zone is different po from the declaration of as, TD. An inter- yes. Yeah, at, uh, as an enterprise declar- zone. Yes. It's different po from the declaration of the Senate and the House of as tourism spots, tourism development areas, etc. po. So if they're if they're gonna go through with the Tiesa as TEZs, yun po yun. They need to follow the guidelines. But kaya po there's sometimes they sometimes would uh, dec- uh, ask to be declared as TDAs or uh, tourism spots. Not para hindi po sila. I think mag undergo with the guidelines of the TEZs submission ng sa TEZs. Pero hindi naman ganon dapat, di ba? Kasi iba yung proseso nyo, iba yes. din yung yes. declaration. Yes po. Yes, po. So, so at the moment, may mga LGUs ba applying under as a TEZ? Oh, as I'm, I'm not familiar po with, the, with if there are LGUs applying as TEZs. But on our own po, we declare flagship TEZs. Uh, currently, it's San Vicente, Palawan, which is a flagship TEZ. I think Mount Samat is also a, a flagship TEZ of uh, the uh, Tiesa. So as of the moment, I have I I do not have the data po with as to the local governments applying as TEZs po. Okay, so when you say flagship, ano, what does that entail? For example, uh, so San Vicente and Mount Samat. Uh, I'm I'm looking at the the, the guidelines currently po with the, the the declaration of. Anong anong I mean anong pondo yung binibigay ng Tiesa for let's say San Vicente and. Uh, we usually would help in the master planning of uh, of of the whole area po. When it comes, but, but I thought this was before the Mandanas Garcia ruling. Yes, yes, po, yes, po. So now, moving forward, hindi niya, can can hindi na hindi niya, parang at the moment sarado na yung pintu nyo. Uh, I, we're not closing our doors because because uh, uh, actually, po, there is still from the DBM guidelines, corporate budget guidelines. There is we are we can still fund fifth and sixth class. Um, municipality LGU so and uh, those that fall under the five percent ecotourism po. Okay, pero kasi Mount Samat hindi yun LGU eh, di ba? Property yes, ata ng Tiesa yan. Property ba na Tiesa yan or? Yeah, um, hindi po siya property yeah. ko na. So LGU yes. din yon. 
hindi po we it was uh, uh, on our own po na na na, na uh, we declared it, it as a flagship TEZ. Flagship. Po. Okay. Uh, yung Balikasag, wala ba kayong plano for Balikasag? Um it it's uh we have I think we it's under uh, our joint venture uh, uh selection committee na po. We're looking to develop din po the Balikasag Island. Okay. Okay. Um anything else Senator Pia? No, I'm good. I'm 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 just happy to listen and you know to learn how to try to figure out how we can solve all right. <laughs> Actually, isa sa ko lang kasi isa dun sa uh, bills na referred was about Masungi. Um, di ba kasi protected area na yon. Kaso lang, may, may, may section kasi doon na dinidevelop pa sa uh, destination. But I guess siguro kulang yung, yung existing law dun sa declaring it as a protected area. So ngayon parang there's discussion kung, um, I don't know, yung CNPA, if you're familiar, yung, di ba sa states, may meron silang mga, kunwari, uh, sa Yosemite, di ba yung Yosemite, meron siyang sariling um, uh, parang board that manages that uh, that park. So hindi alam kung, kung pwedeng ganong type of setup for whether it's for Mount Pulag, for Masungi, and other protected areas. I was saying, Your Honor, when we were when I mentioned the Pambi, that is by law the um, the council that oversees every protected area. That's in their law. So there's a declaration there of the functions of the Pambi, the mem- who the members are and what are their powers and authorities. So ganun na talaga yon. That's why I was. I, I, I guess, siguro, baka kulang lang yung kasi di ba yung, yung orientation. I guess ng Pambi hindi naman towards. Um, Tourism. It's more of protect protecting the the area. Actually, hindi din, ma'am. Kasi hindi. Um, based on my ano my recollection, uh, uh, there are rec- there, like for example, when Mount Pulag was taken up, no, just recently. Although I didn't really have any amendments anymore, some building Senator Cynthia. But um, I know for a fact that it is a major tourism ecotourism area. So. It really takes into consideration the balance of uh, nature and uh, promoting tourism in the area. That really is the job of the family. So that is taken into consideration as far as I know. As to yeah. where but I think a, a common complaint is like school lang ng staffing. Yes, because Tapos, the, the wala problem, silang ranger, so hindi nila ma protect. The problem there is this. Um by law, uh, they need to remit their collections to the national treasury. And then they have to ask for it back. So I recall in previous um, budget, budget, um, our budget deliberations, I tried to insert a retention clause. Um, I'll have to review the records, but I think I even proposed a retention clause. Eh, pero it was not. I don't know. In, in the final uh, bills, hindi pinayagan. That's what I I was trying to do when I was chairman. And then I tried to insert it in the GAAs. Pero uh, na ano yon? <laughs> tinanggal, hindi nila gusto na mag-retain. So that's really something yeah. we can work on because they can live, I mean, at the very least, allow them to live on their collection but they have to remit it and then it, it really goes back to them or not in full. That's a problem. Yeah, and, and siguro yung, yung con- I don't know kung kasama din yung konsepto na parang joint venture with the private sector or an well, NGO in, in taking okay. care of a certain protected area. Pwede. It, it, is within, it is within their powers to do that, ma'am. I think lang baka nga hindi nila fully na develop pero pwede. Now, I don't know with, um, if you're thinking specifically of uh, yung Masungi, I don't know if it has a law. Eh. So, if it's by EO lang, baka hindi pa na-develop yung kanilang family board and everything, di ba? Kasi that one is usually uh, developed when there's already a law. But when it's no, I think it's a Masungi at a part ng Marikina yeah, that I'm not familiar that, with that. But yung Mar- Marikina watershed. But yun na nga, baka nakikita nila yung, yung kakulangan dun sa aspect of it being developed as a tourist destination and not just a protected area. At siguro, baka dun sa BNB, ilang beses ba nag-meeting yung ano, yung board ng mga pambi? 
Yes, magandang hapon po ulit. Uh, bago po sagutin nyo na Madam Senator, I'd like just, just like to clarify yung mga sinabi po ni uh, and, and add to the what the good Senator uh, Pia Kayetan has said tungkol sa Pambi. Yes, we have uh, Pambi sa mga protected areas, but uh, yung power and jurisdiction lang po ng uh, Pambi is limited to protected areas and uh, some of the proposed bills are outside the protected areas. Meron lang po mga mangilan-ngilan na sumasakop sa mga protected areas but most of those are outside the uh, protected areas. And uh, as I've said, yung power po ng Pambi is nasa loob lang po ng uh, EAs. And uh, sa protected area po, ang uh, ina-adapt po natin na form of tourism is ecotourism. Hindi po natin uh, na adapt yung traditional na concept ng uh, tourism in line with the uh, thrust or management objective of protected area which is uh, uh, conservation and protection. So yun po yung magkakibat na management objective ng uh, protected area, conservation and protection and uh, ina-adapt po natin ng ecotourism uh, with its uh, safeguards as well as para maka-generate ng income, para makagamit uh, maka-generate ng income for the sustainable financing of its projects and uh, uh, dun sa operation ng uh, office ng uh, protected area. Though, uh, minsan or kadalasan, hindi po sapat yung uh, income na mapasok sa mga protected area. And especially during this time of pandemic po, ay, uh, mayroon po talaga mga protected area na as in zero talaga ang uh, collection. And uh, yun yung mga protected areas na nangailangan ng uh, tulong. Ngayon po meron tayong uh, uh, mga legislated na protected areas. And uh, we are glad that uh, DBM has, uh, we have a discussion of the DBM to provide a, uh, provide, to provide the funding for the creation of a protected area management offices with permanent plantilla positions for uh, protected areas with areas above uh, 50,000 hectares. So yan po yung initial commitment uh, provided to us. And uh, the rest of the legislated protected areas with the hect hectares below 50,000 will be accommodated or uh, mabibigyan po ng uh, pondo for the creation of management offices for the uh, coming uh, years. Pero, uh, we, yan lang po ay applicable dun sa mga legislated protected areas. Yeah. And we have uh, around 244 uh, protected areas and there are other areas that are being proposed by the field offices uh, for the inclusion into the system. And the karamihan ng mga ito, mga magagandang mga area na may mga uh, potential for ecotourism development. Okay. So, 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 paano mo yun, uh, Director Vicente, pag hindi siya declared as protected area, pero it will be developed as an ecotourism zone, ano yung, may standard na ba na sinusunod yung DNR? Or will this also fall sa office nyo? Considering uh, yes, it's not a protected area. Uh, yes po. Yung, meron po tayong guidelines, the DNR guidelines, and it applies to protected areas as well as outside protected areas uh, willing to be uh, covered by the policy. So meron tayong uh, guidelines for the planning and management. And that starts from the assessment. So nag start po tayo sa assessment ng area kung suitable ba yung uh, area for ecotourism purposes. Uh, maraming measures po yan. Unang-unang accessibility, yung presence of national asset, yung mga social consent, yun yung, yung mga areas na pwedeng, ay na, pwedeng i iwasan gaya ng mga caves na class 1 and class 2 na mga fragile, yung ecosystems, yun po yung mga areas na iniiwasan natin. So yun po yung kahalagahan ng uh, site assessment and uh, para dun sa eventual na identification or delineation ng uh, boundaries. So kung yung isang, uh, isang area ay dineclare as ecotourism area without the benefit of a site assessment and a demarcation of boundary, wala tayong magiging basis dun sa formulation ng isang sound and responsive na management uh, plan. So napakalaga ng uh, role ng DNR dun sa mga process na yan in consideration 
na mandate ng DNR ang management ng mga natural resources, especially sa mga protected areas at saka mga forest lands at sa mga, mga foreshore areas. Okay. And uh, ito ho bang mga house bills? Lahat to dumaan sa yung ecotourism committee nyo before it was approved? Uh, no, mamula sa process po namin sa national uh, sa Ecotourism Working Group and sa NESI na uh, idaan yung mga ecotourism uh, bills sa NESI or National Ecotourism Steering Committee. Pero maganda po ma'am na nailabas po ninyo we can uh, magandang idea na dumaan sa NESI through the ETWG yung mga proposed na bills declaring ecotourism missions. We will take note of that ma'am sa mga Okay, and then dun sa committee na yan, I guess, ano yan, may ano kayo, actual inspection of the site, may, may ganong proseso. Ganong kadetalya yung pag -e evaluate hindi lang yung paper paper evaluation. Yes ma'am, sa mga sa, sa assessment na nabanggit ko kanina yung assessment, uh, sa field level assessment, especially sa levels ng uh, protected areas, uh, pinupuntahan po talaga yung... Uh, area as a basis dun sa field-based assessment kasi napakahalaga nung uh, data na galing talaga dun sa field as basis nga po nung sa delineation ng area na i-designate as tourism area kasi po may mga fragile areas or may mga geohazard zones na kailangan i-extract dun sa area with respect sa uh, pag-iwas or pag- uh, set aside ng mga biodiversity hotspot areas or yung mga dangerous zones for uh, na hindi akma para sa mga bisita po. Okay. Um, um, maybe I would instruct um, the committee secretary to provide uh, BMB with copies of the bills on um, ecotourism, not necessarily on protected areas, para uh, Ma, ma check niyo muna kung uh, pasok ba sila or papasa ba sila dun sa site assessment na ginagawa ng um, BNB when it comes to ecotourism site. May difference ba yung ecotourism site sa ecotourism zone? Or do you declare uh, both? Yung... Uh, wala pong technical difference po yung uh, uh, sa amin po. Wala pong technical difference po yung zones or sites. Although parang uh, as indicated by the word itself, pagka zone is medyo malaki. And site, sa amin po kasi Diana, we use the word site, not the zone. Okay, siguro, oh, baka nga. And siguro maganda din na may, kasi marami din dun sa bills, walang technical description eh. So, napakalawak ng scope, ng coverage ng, ng certain areas. Okay. Would BNB provide those technical, ano, uh, Boundaries? Uh, ma'am, isa po yan ma'am sa nire-recommend namin pagka may hearing po sa house na hingin po sana sa regional offices, yung field office ng DNR, yung technical description ng mga areas being proposed for ecotourism sites or zones. In sa kami po dito sa BMB ay uh, wala pong uh, uh, kakayahan para po tugunan lahat yung uh, sa dami ng uh, bills na yan and uh, hindi po tayo makatravel and wala po kaming competency para po, po para, para mag-conduct po ng uh, survey ng uh, mga sites na yan and ang makakagawa po niyan mga field office po natin ma'am actually yun nga din eh ang, ang magiging dilemma na naman kung, kung um, yung, yung who will pay for the uh, for those yung mga technical description can DNR pay for that or dapat si LGU yung magbabayad? Uh, for my, sa akin pong uh, personal po na assessment, uh, in, since hindi naman po ito accurate, hindi naman po kailangan accurate survey na nagagamit ng uh, total station or dadaan sa stringent na survey standards yung uh, ating requirement para sa sa bills is uh, kakasya na po yung uh, dati na pong ginagawa ng DNR na magkakandak ng uh, site assessment with the 
use of uh, GPS, handheld GPS usually, and that will not entail uh, so much budget except for the kailangan of course ng budget sa uh, per dime ng mga tao po nagagawa po niyan and uh, built in naman po sa uh, budget po ng uh, DNR yung allocation ng uh, per dimes. Though, uh, tanggap po naman po natin na nagkukulang sa allocation especially dun sa mga Senros or Penros level na halos uh, pukunti na lang nakakabot ng mga budget for the per dimes na mga nagpifield ng mga tao po. Okay. Actually, siguro, punta muna tayo sa definition. When you say ecotourism zone, ano ba yung, uh, what does it entail? Uh, I'm not so sure, Ma'am Senator, ano po talaga yung uh, pagkakaiba ng uh, ecotourism zones, uh, ecotourism site. Kung uh, meron pong sinusunod ang... Uh, kasi sa... Kung uh, ibabatay po natin dun sa mga t- tourism enterprise zones or TEZs, uh, I presume na nakabase po yung uh, sa definition na yun, yung mga tinatawag na ecotourism zones. Pero sabi ko po kanina, uh, sa DNR po, ang ginagamit lang po natin na uh, term ay ecotourism site since uh, ang ating mga sites po ay... Uh, usually uh, locally based lang so maliit lang po ng mga areas hindi po malakihan po eh okay oh baka si Tiesa may definition ba kayo ng ecotourism um, madam chairman i think uh, we have a definition of ecotourism zone but it is under our uh, specific guidelines on declaration of tourism enterprise zones um, under our definition, ecotourism zones are areas that will allow visitors to experience a form of sustainable tourism within a given natural and or cultural area where common participation, conservation, and management of biodiversity, respectful culture, and indigenous knowledge systems and practices, environmental education and ethics, as well as economic benefits are fostered and pursued for the enrichment of host communities and satisfaction of visitors. The area may include, but will not be limited to, sites of scenic natural or rural beauty, areas for observing wildlife, areas for low-impact activities such as camping, trekking, climbing, diving, splenook, Spelunking. Spelunking, diving, surfing, and other similar activities. And sites for observing and interacting with traditional or indigenous practices in relation to the environment. That would be it. Okay. Um, any more questions? Yes, and Pia. I was thinking about your comment, no? If... um. Uh, how clear is it under the existing uh, protected area laws and how clear is the mandate of the um, PAMBIS no? PAMBI. to, to allow activities in connection with ecotourism, right? And I was responding that that's, that, that's, that's a given, it's there. But I just did a very quick uh, perusal of uh, one of the bills that we just passed. And I, you're, you're absolutely right. No, I didn't see a clear reference to ecotourism. So, although I know for a fact, no, that it's a given because when you look at the, when you read between the lines, um, you know, there's the buffer zone, there's allowed activities. But uh, I, I have to recalibrate my statement that I now agree with you that it may not be very clear in a lot. It may not be as clear as it, it is intended to be. No, it's clear in my mind, but you know, naman, when I draft laws myself, I like it to be very clear. So maybe, and this is really consistent with the last few questions you've been asking, there may be room for an you know, offer legislation to that effect. It would be very tedious if we would have to go back to all the protected area laws, but whether we look at um, uh, the NIPAS law or other existing tourism laws, baka dun tayo pwede maglagay ng general amendments because... I would not um, recommend that isa-isahin natin, di ba? Just the general 
statements na if it's if it's a protected area then subject to guidelines of DNR and the locals uh, we we are we are making a national policy that we are promoting ecotourism right something to that effect so yun i support your ano now your yeah or <laughs> or actually then sa isang hearing nga sa um, environment parang hearing ay na discuss eh, na um, maybe um, there's a need to create separate governing bodies for each protected area. For example, um, kanyari, sa Mount Pulang, meron talaga siyang kumbaga sariling dedicated na, na department that deals with the development and taking care of Mount Pulang. Parang kasi, well, yun nga, balikan ko yung sa Amerika, ganun eh, like yung, kumbaga, yung sa Redwood Park. So yung, yung park, may, may sarili siyang ano, may sarili siyang mandato yeah. na ito yung area na kinocover niya and then siya yung may, may authority to to develop the area kung saan yung site na pwedeng maglagay ng for camping, for for uh, park. Yung, yung, actually, talaga yung site development nung, 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 nung lugar, sila yung kumbaga may authority. So I don't know if that setup would work for us. Yeah, Madam Chair, Technically, like I said, no, PAMB is authorized to do that. I am reading now from the the House Bill on Mount Pulag, no, approve policies, plans, and programs uh, related to the management of the protected area. To me, clearly pasok yun don. But I do I do acknowledge that there's no clear reference to the development of ecotourism plans. Walang ganon. So dun yung room na nakikita ko for improvement. But as to who that designated authority is. Currently, as we speak all over the country, we have designated it to be the local pambis. Now, whether we want a higher, um, let's say it's a USEC level, well, um, sa DNR, it's the BMB. So, I, I submit to her honor naman, no? I'm just saying that that is the current situation. Uh, if we will review gaps in the law, then, then we can we can start from there. Yeah. Or, then, or man, I... I don't know kung nandun din sa law na may percentage ba dun sa protected area na pwede lang i-develop for they tourism. Are, from my understanding, and we can call, call on BNP to confirm, from my understanding, they each develop their own plans on uh, on that. Kasi it's very different. Eh? Like, like uh, there there are buffer zones. There's no percentage of what cause the buffer zones are the areas that allow multi-use as opposed to purely protected. Uh, there's no percentage by law that is determined by the locals depending on their landscape but may, but the best person to to answer would be the technical from BMB no if we call on them madam chair yes okay, yes, director vicente uh, yes ma'am senior uh, ecosystem management specialist lang po ako ma'am <laughs> uh, yes i agree with the uh, statement of the senator and uh, tama po siya na ang protected area management board has the power to uh, oversee the management of the protected area. And uh, they, they decide on uh, which areas will be uh, set aside for a uh, multiple use zone or the declaration or uh, designation of additional areas or buffer zones. They also decide which areas will be decided for ecotourism areas and which areas will be uh, set aside for uh, conservation and uh, protection protection purposes. They also uh, allocate the budget for kung saan po gagamit. Uh, sila po yung uh, nag approve po ng budget. And uh, they also approve uh, ano yung mga ecotourism uh, projects or ecotourism activities na pwedeng i-conduct sa area. And uh, gusto ko lang din pong i-clarify po yung sinabi ni Ma'am Senator po kanina. Ang income po sa protected areas po ay uh, nare-retain ang 75% sa protected areas for their direct use. So, ang nag-allocate uh, po ng uh, 75% na yan ay yung PAMBI. And yung 25% po is umaakyat po siya sa national uh, treasury na ginagamit para sa system-wide na management ng uh, NIPAS. So, yung mga protected area po na hindi kumikita, walang income, sila po yung uh, gumagamit ng uh, remaining na uh, 25%. So, napakaganda po ng uh, sistema ng uh, uh, management ng uh, uh, income na yan. 
o may mga protected areas na nalalakihan din sila dun sa 25% na sineshare nila dun sa uh, system-wide management. Director Vicente, anong number one ano nyo? Earning na protected area? Yes po. Ang mga malalaki pong mga protected area po na kumita ay yung uh, Tanyon Strait, uh, protected seascape sa, bu sa, bu sa Cebu. Yung Apo Island, uh, protected landscape and seascape sa... Uh, anong probinsya to? Sa May, ano, sa may Maguete, Apo Island. Yes po, yes po. Sa May Siki Hall. Opo, yun po. And uh, Mount Pulag, malaki din po ang kinikita din po ng... Uh, Uh, Mount Pulag, malaki din po ang kinikita ng Tubataha uh, Reef National, National Park. So, although meron pong marami din po mga protected areas po na uh, uh, wala pong uh, kita po. So, sila po yung umaasa dun sa mga sinay-share na 25% ng mga PA na kumikita ng medyo malaki. And uh, uh, may mga protected area, for example po yung... Uh, Uh, Mount uh, ay yung Apo Island na self self supporting na po sila and nakakatulong na rin sila sa kwan sa projects ng barangay. So yun po ang kagandahan ng mga protected areas na self supporting and uh, yan sa ang objective ng aming opisina na lahat ng mga protected areas ay hindi lang umaasa sa uh, ga para mabuhay or mag uh, mag operate and uh, para i-finance yung mga conservation and protection areas. Okay. In fact, uh, ang interesting yung Tubataha. Di ba yung Tubataha, meron siyang sarili niyang ano, um, governing body? Uh, yes po, meron, meron po siyang, uh, Pambi din po ma'am, Pambi din po yung uh, nagmamanage sa kanya. Though meron siyang uh, may na-create na uh, Tubataha Management Office which is uh, not under the direct management ng uh, DNR and doon po sila sa PAMBI mismo na nagre-report. So member naman din ng DNR doon sa uh, PAMBI. Okay. Yes, Senator Cretano. No, I was just going to add for ano for reference um in in uh, connection with your question on uh do they determine kung ano yung paano gagamitin, kung paano ipopromote. Just from my own personal experience, when I when I first went to um, Mount Pulag, uh, and then the last time I went to Mount Pulag, so there, so the, the, the gap of that was, the first one, I was actually still in law school. So then the second one, may mga, the last one was may anak na ako. So the first and the last, laki ng gap nun. Ano. And uh, even the areas where you could uh, camp were already changed. So nung early days, allowed ka pa mag-camp dun sa peak. So I had the privilege of camping at the very peak of Mount Pulag, like really literally waking up um, above the skies. And I was able to do that mga three consecutive trips. But when I went back with my kids, you're no longer allowed to camp up there. You can only camp lower areas. And then you just have to make that final hike, which is which is not that long naman. But yun nga. So, so in that sense, minam, that, gan ka hands-on yung management nila, they determine. So basically, that whole area naman is um, uh, accessible to tourists. But as to what activities you can do, you, you they no longer allowed. Sa dami na lang siguro ng umaakit na by that time. Because um, just by the sheer interest of going going up there. So that's that's the, I, I saw with my own, by my own experience, the hands-on um, uh, decisions that these these groups, the the PAMBI makes, um, And I'm sure it's like that elsewhere. The question really is, is how can national government support it further? Diba? I think that's also what your concern is. Diba? Paano natin tutulungan yung mga uh, to, in, to improve the, the, the familiarity? And I, I want to bring this up now because it's just so amazing. I've had the opportunity to hike in um, Korea and Japan and Hong Kong. And... Uh, I'm pleasantly surprised also when I hike in the Philippines that sometimes may kasama ako mga parang literally parang excursion ng mga bata. So I'm happy to know na, you know, there's local Filipinos who do that. But they're usually from the area. Pero ang pinakamaganda na nakita ko doon is um, number one is to see a lot of elderlies. I haven't seen that here uh, unless taga dun sila. So like when I hike in uh, Benguet, eh yung nakikita ko doon, hindi naman nag-hike, umuwi, nandun sila nakatira. 
Pero lifestyle yung, nila yun, lifestyle. Ang lifestyle nila yun. And they're going home. They're literally going home. That's where they live. Pero yung makakita ka ng tourist na katulad ko na nag-hike, na elderly, na mag-asawa, na parang 70s, nag-hike, walang ganun. And the other thing that I saw, which may not be popular with all, but may be popular with some, and I'm I'm open to it, is they've really developed their their ecotourism to the point that when you get there, meron mga traditional stores. Kung baga sa mga tindahan natin na banana queue, barbecue, di ba? May ganun. And it's institutionalized. May mga stalls sila doon. And then sa baba ng hike, nandun yung mga lake, local delicacy. So it really becomes a livelihood for people. I I really would like that to be explored more. And I, I, I think that may be that may be the direction that you're heading at, di ba? Na parang ano matutulong natin? Parang nga mabuhay yung mga tao dito. Kasi sabi mo nga, uh, sabi nga ni, ni um, ng ating resource person, eh, ano, uh, not all have income, di ba? So the 25% shares with the others. Pero bakit hindi mas standardize yun, di ba? Na magkaroon ng ganun. And of course, you're not going to allow, like I said, sa Mount Pulag, sa peak, hindi mo naman palalagyan doon ng sari-sari store, di ba? But in, in designated areas, you really develop the, the tourism. In, in Japan, there's this, ano, the whole town was kind of turned into a tourism town where they have these tea shops and everything, everything, uh, parang easy to eat lang kasi nga mag-hike yung mga tao eh, parang noodles, noodles. But it's really a whole town. For those who don't want to hike, they can just stay there and and go, ano, cafe, cafe hopping. Yun yung dream ko na, na makita ko na magkaganon tayo. So, paano natin gagawin yun? Just let me know. I will support. <laughs> I guess, dun nga, it will boil down dun sa site development, right? And lalo yeah. na ngayon, na uh, because of COVID, parang all of a sudden, everyone's interested to go to open space, di ba? I think yun yung you're... kulang natin eh, wala tayong national parks develop. I mean, yung national parks development natin, limited lang to Luneta Park, but you know, Madam Chair, may I propose, pag safe na mag-travel, yung sinasabi kong uh, favorite hiking spot ko in Japan, talagang pumunta tayo, mag-ocular tayo, let's bring key uh, developers. Let's say ngayon, yung, yung Pambi head ng, ng Mount Pulag, dalhin natin sila doon, pakita natin kung paano. Kasi grabe, from excursion ng mga five years, mga preschoolers yung nakita ko, nag-hike preschoolers nag sila and then and then i have to be honest that may portions doon na sinementohan na yung ano yung hiking kasi nga syempre may senior citizens may bata i'm not saying all again diba we will not intrude we will just give them their options na ano ba dito yung part na gusto niyo ma-develop right and then the others naman are like sacred grounds na hindi mo itatouch pero gusto kong ipakita sa kanila yung mga possibilities para we can ano we can really grow in ano and um and improve our, our ano, the livelihood then. That's what we're after din naman, di ba? Preservation of, of the environment, but also livelihood for our people. So, yun ang dream ko. So, kung papayag kayo, pag nag-open up ang Japan, I will write you a formula. Parang open na. Parang open, open na ata. Open, pero magpa-quarantine ka pa eh. <laughs> Sangin naman yung oras natin, pagdating natin, doon magka-quarantine pa. I, that's, that's the last that I saw, ah. If I'm wrong, let me know because I, I'd like to organize this because that's really my dream, ecotourism. Wait, sandali. Magpa-practice muna ako. Hindi ako hiker. <laughs> Hindi. Madam Chair, may mga senior citizen. Tsaka yung staff ko. <laughs> yung staff ko. So, I'll give you an idea, ha, which is really, when I think of not just Mount Pulag, but um, Mount, uh, 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 what's the one in Batangas? Um, Mount Makulot. Makulot. Ang, ang ideas kasi dyan, may beginner trail, tapos may serious. So this particular one that I'm talking about, um, I, you know, whether I'm I'm at my fitness level or not, I, I just said, by experience, sanay na ako. So ako, pinili ko talaga yung walang, walang, ano, walang cemento. So I took the rugged trail. Tapos yung staff ko, she took the cementong trail. So nagandayan lang kami. Tapos nakarating kami, there's six trails going to the, the top. So, there's a level for all. And guess what? The first level pa nun, may ano pa, may, ano tawag doon? Yung sasakyan mo yung, um, uh, ano tawag doon? Yung cable. May cable car din naman. May cable car. Yeah. But what, cable but, car. What, but what was delightful to me was that in the second level, wala nang cable car. Ang dami pa rin seniors na nakarating. So, pagka nag-invite ako sa inyo, I will include ko na yun ang walking program for one month para pagdating doon, Fit and ready. <laughs> uh, I guess, siguro, baka nga after this COVID, 
will develop that ano, yung hike. I mean, kasi diba, if you're from Metro Manila, saan ka mag-hike? Ah, well, the closest, diba, parang, the closest it is like um, yung parang Mount Ma- 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 Makiling, I would suppose, diba? Yeah, Meron pang yeah. hiking trail sa Mount Makiling? Meron, pero it's not really, I, I remember, believe it or not, I remember going there was grade 5. You know what I mean? So like, that's something I even visited as an adult, with, which is when I got into hiking. Malayo pa ng mga pinuntang ko. So that's really my dream na ma-develop talaga natin yan. And maybe our, ano, our resource persons can identify for us so that ako, I'll, I'll, map, I'll map it out and then isipin natin sino isasama natin. I'm serious about that. Ocular inspection tayo. Okay, game. Pag okay na. Yeah. Yun, uh-huh. I think yun yung kulang natin eh. Kasi ako, I mean, guilty ah. Yung mga anak ko, mas nadala ko pa abroad. <laughs> dun sa mga parks. Like, for example, Yosemite, yung Sequoia. Sequoia ba yun? Actually, yeah, but, but here, here <laughs> hindi ko pa sila nadadala. I, I I have not actually even been there in, to Yosemite and Sequoia. I, I have visited other, not as, not, not as famous mountains in in uh, the US. But yeah, so you 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 understand what, diba? you, you've seen it in different, and believe it or not, um, it's even closer and the airfare is cheaper. Believe it or not, Hong Kong is major hiking grounds. And people don't realize that because we all go there to go shopping. Diba? Shopping. I've, I've made it my destination for a quick weekend ano, outdoor experience. And nobody believes me when I say that, oh, no, nag-Hong Kong ka, nag-shopping. And I'm like, no, nag-hiking. Kasi from, from, the, from the shopping centers, I take a taxi and it is just, this is ano, ha? baka sabihin ba, nagkwekuntuhan na lang tayo. This is all, ano, ha? official uh, official uh, I'm like a resource person now because imagine from the shopping center 10 minute taxi ride to the drop off point where I, I you can hike now for 2 to 6 hours and i mean that it may not be available to metro manila but if you live in batangas if you live in various provinces like when i go to dipolo 15 minutes from the hotel i li- i stay in there's a 3000 steps you know you hike now 3000 steps so, depending on how fit you are, you can go up in one hour yeah. or in two hours. It's cementado. So, in, in, the, in that case, I guess, hindi naman yata yung protected area, but they declared, they uh, they promote it as a tourism area. It's 3,000 steps. And when you get there, there's a whole view of the polo. So, marami naman ganon, pero we can really promote it. But pagbaba mo, wala lang, may parang tindahan lang. Kung ako yun, doon ko na ng todo. Ano yun, Explore na, di ba? So, mga t-shirt yun na I, I walk 3,000 steps for a lot of people that's a major accomplishment you know but and, and I think doon pwede pumasok yung DOT yes diba yung yes. branding and then ano ba yung yung yes. whole experience it's yes. not just climbing the mountain diba and that's that can that can be a template diba that's a package that DOT can literally hand to this barangay I, but for all you know, barangay, you know, nag-start lang yan sa barangay and then sa municipio or I don't, I don't know if it's officially part of the Polo City. I think it's still is. So the city, may package ka na lang na i-deliver there, di ba? Na, o ito pala may site ka. So ang kailangan mo, meron ka magbebenta ng t-shirts, meron magbebenta ng refreshments, meron magbebenta ng mementos, di ba? And then, so, and then may activity ka, something else. So that's it. It's a complete package. That's what's cool lang. Kasi... Yeah. We- and- Actually, maybe we can ask DOT, nandiyan si Yusek ano, Alabado, if there's, uh, I don't know kung meron ng ganito ang DOT or in the pipeline na parang joint venture kayo ng DNR. Ay, nakamit ka. Yes. Okay, good afternoon, Madam Senators. I am uh, Yusek Robby Alabado from the Department of Tourism. So I am very much excited on the, uh, this discussion because uh, same as you, the, my, uh, one of my passion is um, ecotourism or maybe um, ang, ang iba sabi ko daw ako na ano na sa, sa ecotourism. But uh, just to, to answer uh, uh, about the, tap, uh, the, the topic right now on, on hiking trails, the Department of Tourism is busy in, in producing or developing new products in uh, this time of, of the the pandemic because as what as what have uh, what has been mentioned by senator nancy um, binay that the trust of or, or the market preferences of our local tourists and even um, the international tourists are now more on out 
uh, outdoor. So they see open space as much safer. And there is also a, a move towards uh, doing healthy activities. So hiking and, and um, uh, visiting nature trails is, is parang nagiging, ano na siya, nagiging um, trend. So um, even before the pandemic, uh, some of the, the hiking trails that we have seen being developed, I'm from Mindanao, so I, I, I'm more familiar with, with, with the products that we, we developed there. So of course, um, Mount Apo has always been there. And in Cotabato, South Cotabato, uh, there are trails uh, going around uh, Lake Cebu in, in South Cotabato. And I think uh, two, three years ago, uh, its neighboring town in um, the municipality of Tibodi also developed a beautiful um, trail going up to, I think it's um, Lake Holon. So these are trails, um, hikes, that actually integrate uh, culture because uh, you, you will be interacting with uh, the uh, indigenous tribes, the, the Tiboli, and at the same time, local crafts are there, and it is community-led po. Uh, it is the tribes mismo, the, the, the tribal community, who will assign you the, the, ano, the, the, the guides. So, halos lahat sila may trabaho doon. And it, it's a very busy you know, um, time during um, summertime. Because we have, fa it's a, they're more family oriented. And just like what was um, earlier ano, discussed, my trail na pang mahirap na, na, ano, na, na, na trekking. Ito yung kung gusto mo talaga na, ano, na, na um, ng excitement. But there are also trails wherein um, it's, it's uh, lighter. And then kung gusto mo magkabayo na paakyat or pababa, magbibigay din sila ng, ano, ng, ng option na yun. So um, it's, uh, Many of us are, are developing it. Um, here in Metro Manila, uh, the, I have some, some friends who frequent Tanay Rizal for their hiking weekends. So a lot, as um, I, I'm very proud of, of Tanay Rizal because they are developing yeah. a lot of trails there. Um, ako, um, my, my hobby naman po is more on... Ano, Pati off-roading ata ngayon sa Tanay na uuso. Opo. Oh, ang, ang aking hobby is more on bird, ano, uh, bird watching. So, uh, pag sinabi mong bird watching, say, we walk in, in the Kandaba swamps, we walk in Subic, just to find birds. So, um, ito po yung mga, ano, mga, mga hinahanda ko natin ngayon. But for the eh, And then, uh, ano, ano, hmm. ano, ano yung ambag, kumbaga, ng DOT? Pagdating dun sa pag-develop ng mga ganyang, ano ba yan, uh, experience or destination? Um, ay, Yes, um, Senator, what we're doing right now, since um, hindi pa naman fully effect ang, ano, ang, ang mandana, so pwede ho kaming gumastos sa ngayon ng, ng uh, product development. So um, we, we, we come coordinate with the communities, then we hold meetings, we, then we talk to um, property owners, etong mga uh, tour guides, we, 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 help develop and, uh, we help develop them. Then at the same time, yung mga ating mga destination managers or ito pong mga tour organizers, we, ano, we coordinate with them so that makadevelop po ng trail or ng circuit on that particular product. Um, okay. and, I, and, and you oh. said, alaman, yung product development, hindi naman... Depende kung declared siya o hindi by legislation, mm -hmm. hindi ba? It's the viability mm -hmm. of the product. Uh, yes, Senator. Uh, we are always looking at the market preferences. So um, it's an industry. It's a business. Uh, there's going to be supply and demand. So if we see in the market that there is a preference now on outdoor, then we go to outdoor. We help those who are um, um, ready or at least uh, willing to develop their areas. Ang, 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 ang narinig ko kanina sa, um, sa convergence po natin with the, the um, DPWH, ang isang requirement po na... Okay, 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 ikaw, ikaw, namin. <laughs> and, can you please and, uh, mute? Ng DOT and, and DPWH was yung tinatawag po natin Tourism Development Plan. Um, it's a requirement wherein uh, it's, it, uh, it's usually province level. Alabado, may naka-on comsec. Pa-turn off lang po nung mic yan. Thank you. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Yes, uh, so ang isa pong nagiging ano um, uh, requirement, it's not actually the the um, act declaring it as a tourism uh, eco zone or or tourist destination, but it is more on um, the a a plan that there is an actual plan on how tourism will be developed in the province then sana naka-insert po doon yung roads kasi ang, ang ibig sabihin noon it was seen as a ano a priority of the province as in in terms of their tourism development kaya po ito uh, po yung ano yung yung isang requirement na, na hinihingi po sa ating mga local government units once they have that so uh, i hope that answers po yung question is the 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 app declaring it um, a priority. Well, sa convergence po namin sa DPWH, mas hinahanap po namin kung meron ba talaga silang plano, a tourism development plan that incorporates such ano, such road project needed. Anong, well, since ano, ano ba policy niyo, for example, yung buong LGU na hindi ni-declare as a tourist destination? Would you uh, agree to that? Um, there are some some towns that may qualify po, especially po ang in the cultural side. Kasi like vegan, po, siguro like vegan. Yeah, we have vegan. We have the the very beautiful towns in ano um sa Batangas, yung, yung mga historical Taal. towns. Opo. So, De, pero pero po, yun, ibang hmm. pero yun ibang declaration din yun eh under naman sa basic ed, 'di ba? Yung uh, cultural and heritage, ano ba 'yun? Uh, district or town. Uh-huh. So i- 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 I mean, iba pa it's a different declaration from a hmm. tourist destination. Oh, um, so iba pero, din. <laughs> iba din dapat 'to 'yun kasi ang tourist destination, it, it's the market actually that will declare if you're a destination or not. Kung pupuntahan ka ba ng, ng mga tao, hindi. I, um, if, uh, so, I would still submit that it, it is a, 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 um, a an interaction between the the attraction and the market. That e eh, kung determine. province yung nagpapadeclare? Um, as what um, Director Warner Andrade was um, clarifying earlier, uh, the the strategy on the tourism development of the NTDP, the National Tourism Development Plan, is more on clustering. Um, we cluster provinces so that the support service can and uh, can be shared. For example, um, if we're looking at an airport, hindi naman lahat po ng ating mga probinsya meron sariling airport. So um we see the 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 airport as essential so so that the uh, tourists can land in that area then um kung pupunta doon there must be a reason why so kinakabit ho namin yung mga mga iba't ibang mga mga provinces to form a TDA tourism development um area so that it can have an area development approach kasi ang mga turista po uh, uh, um vacation po yeah, or are you check papayag lang kayo pero walang ano funding kasi lahat ng pending bills lahat may ano eh, appro- appropriations coming from DOT or TESA as was earlier um, um explained ng ano ng TESA i think uh, this is um um, a limitation now because of the mandanas. The mandanas nga eh. Opo, yeah. na we cannot actually fund now. Kung anong ginagawa ko namin. I guess na siguro, yun? Yusek Alabado, mm-hmm. kailangan lang ng assurance ng mga LGU na ta, you, you're there to support yung development ng tourism dun sa area. Kasi baka ganun yung nagiging mindset na pag kunwari may declaration, mas bubuhos yung, ano, yung attention and funding doon sa specific area na yun. I don't know if um, that was the uh, if that was the practice no, yung mga previews na na-declare na nga eh sila yung kumbaga na una doon sa funding requirements. Um Senator, uh, one very important um, um activity for tourism development 
would be the capacity building of the tourist um, stakeholders. So a uh, part of, of DOT's mandate is to train, provide capability building activities like training seminars para ho sa mga, mga, mga stakeholders natin in, a, in, 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 in local na mga ano. And eto po, wala pong discrimination na ginagawa ho ang Department of, of Tourism. And we, we value the interest and willingness of our stakeholders to enter into our programs. Kaya po, um, we do not discriminate. And I think uh, um, this is one of the most important and the um, aspects of tourism, the human capacity. Uh, we will continue building our tour guides. We will continue building the, the, the capacities of our um, tour operators. We will continue to develop quality services of our restaurant owners, our accommodation. So, heto po ang package na to, um, tuloy-tuloy po yan na, na ibibigay ng, ano, ng, ng Department of Tourism. Okay. Yes, Senator Caetano. Um, just wanted to react, no? Kasi when you said you'll continue to develop the capacities of your tour operators, etc., etc., uh, i-insert ko na yung advocacy ko doon. Yung strong advocacy ko is uh, our competence in the English language, no? So this is the actually the audience that I need this to be heard, no? It's not about the mother tongue. It's not about, um, you know, love for Filipino language. It's about mastering a foreign language that has that will provide more jobs and and particularly in in the areas of tourism we one uh, one um, advantage we have madam share over like thailand is i have friends no and these are like young entrepreneurs um what do they call them there's a term um mm, nomads young people who work who work online so they're nomads because they can work anywhere so apparently chiang mai is a well known uh, destination for nomads because um it's it's like it's like provincial life, you know. You by the beach or in the mountains. I I have never I haven't been there, but I, I I heard it's very nice. And you have this um group of uh, young people from all over the world, and they're nomads. You no, know, they they work online. And and told I guess that, maganda signal don. Yes. Maganda yung connectivity. Exactly. That's the number one thing. Maganda connectivity. And then um um. Uh, organic din yung growth ng businesses because since maraming tao, the restaurants uh, boomed and then even the local uh, entertainers boomed. Eh, mag magagaling daw kumanta yung mga tao doon, banda, blah, blah, blah. But guess what? Uh, the Their ability to speak English is so limited and and then they, they would hear, these are people, these are foreigners who told me that they heard that in Cebu or other parts of the Philippines, it's even better because they can communicate better. And yet, walang internet connectivity. So between internet connectivity versus being able to speak the language they'll, they'll suck it up and um and and just stay where there's internet connectivity can you imagine so if with our english language we continue because we're losing it out that's why i'm pointing it out we're losing our advantage because thailand is getting our english teacher china is getting our english teachers so i'm, I'm mentioning that because um that's very important uh since you mentioned and that's something that madam chairman we can do online. I, I hear you always referring to, you know, uh, is it is our next budget going to be COVID resilient? Well, in the in this case, in this sector, these are things that can be done uh, while we're still down, no? Like uh, whether it's online courses uh, through the SUCs, having short courses, improving the communication, that can easily be done, right? In, in a year or two years, you can make this young people um, 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 good at, and, and for that matter, it doesn't have to be just English. I always say, by all means, master Chinese, master Spanish, whatever language you want. I'm just saying it's easier to master English because most naman have a grasp of English to begin with. Yeah. So, uh, actually, Cynthia, dapat nga sa K-12 pa lang. Yes, Ina so see, It's an option already, right? And, and, and Madam Chair, um, because I've studied languages, I, 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 I'm learning Spanish as an adult. I, I don't have Spanish ano naman, uh, blood. None of my, my, my grandparents speak Spanish. So I'm learning it as an adult. And you're always asked what kind of language, the language you want to speak. You're always asked, is it conversational, business, tourism? So may ganun eh. So imagine, Madam Chair, when you said senior high, very specific yun, na tourist-oriented yung English nila. So they they would learn vocabularies and words 
that are common in the yeah. industry. Ganun ko simple yun. So, again, by way of example, sorry for, my, you know, I, I, I learned from my own examples. I learned uh, Bisaya because my trainer sa bike was Bisaya. Uh, Davao, Davao Bisaya siya. So, I can speak and the choice of words I make are a little bit different from Cebuano Bisaya. Cebuano. Nagadavo yung nagtuturo sa akin. Oh, guess what? So, ang galing ko na. And then, I was interviewed and the questions were political. Hindi na ako makasagot. <laughs> Kasi yung Q&A, yung kwentuhan namin is all about sports, biking, lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. Tinanong na ako about politics. Wala na akong Bisaya words. So, I mean, that's how specific it is. So, um, yeah, if we have uh, takers in Department of Tourism, let's let's um, let's work with Senator Gachalian and uh, Tesla and let's come up with these programs kasi ito yung mga feeling natin di ba, in, our, in our hearings na pwede natin ano, i-fast track. Mga low-hanging, Senator Caetano. Exactly. And then, Madam Chair, may I go quickly to another point. Um, again, it's something we were discussing. I was trying to remember the name of the organization. Um, so, a few years back, if, if you would recall, I... Um, I was very active because I was the chair of the Committee on Education culture, and Culture. And so we, um, uh, I, I sat on the board of NCCA, uh, NHCP, and so on and so forth. And if you recall, there was this big issue with the Rizal Monument, right? Uh, because of that skyscraper behind. So anyway, because of that, um, I actually attended this uh um, conference by ICOMOS. ICOMOS is the International yeah. Council on Monuments. Monuments. Actually, and, Senator, guys, ako ngayon yung nakaupo sa NCC. I recommend if you get a chance to go to that uh, conference, you should go because I learned so much there. So basically, I went because we were presenting the case of uh, the the Rizal Shrine. No? The idea being that we get international uh, recognition lang on this uh, fight that we had. But there were, it was like a three-day event. So there were all these sessions going on. And I mentioned this because of our discussion on um, the package that you want to tourism, the Department of Tourism, yes, or whoever will be turning over a template package that is handed to uh, local governments or, or local councils uh, to promote their site. So I, I sat in in one... Um, one session, and it was so interesting. Um, unfortunately, I, I don't know the name, but I will describe it and baka her honors knows. Yung sa Indonesia, yung parang mga cones, yung pag tinignan mo puro cones, cones, cones. Does anybody know that, the name of that area? It's like a, it's like an, ar- almost like an archaeological site na parang ang daming cones. I don't know what it is. Anyway. Borobodor, ma'am. Yun. Borobodor, yes. And where is it? Diba? It's far from, it's far from, um, it's not, it's not even near the capital. Diba? It's in Yogyakarta, po, Senator. Yogyakarta. So what happened there is, it's beautiful. But what else will you do when you go there, right? So um, the presentation to us there was how they develop all these other uh, tourism attractions to support that so that it makes it worth the trip for the tourists to go there. And I, I took note. I took I took notes talaga because it, it wasn't that difficult eh, to come up with aside from the eating eating, which is a given. Um, they develop other activities like I think they put up pottery and then they they had like a paint your own T-shirt, you know, little things like that to support that one main purpose of going there. So yun yung template sana na dini develop ng ano natin ng tourism um, I, I suppose DOT, de ba? That ke I mean. No need na yan for like Boracay or Siargao or or uh, even even NU siguro no need at this point. But for other destinations that it's beautiful, but what else will you do there? Di ba? Like kunyari, waterfalls. O pagkatapos mo picture taking, o sabihin mo nang you're one of the adventurous ones na magda-dive ka pa doon. What else will you do there? What else? Di ba? So you have to come up with this, ano, with this array of uh, activities and in the case of, let's say, the waterfalls in, I'll use Cebu as an example because I've, I've done that. There's a number of waterfalls right in the southern area of Cebu. And then dun din si Oslo. So then you can go waterfall hopping, you can actually go spelunking, and you can, um, and then you can see also the, the whale sharks in Oslo. But of course, all of those natural destinations are there. But there are some destinations, but there's nothing else there except that one activity. So then you have to build and that's where the template comes in. So I'm just sharing that, Madam Chair, you know. 
Madam Chair, if I may share. Yes, uh, Director uh, Andrana. Uh, I think, uh, Madam Chair, tama po si Senator Pia. If you look at the NTDP, the way we clustered it, it's that's the concept of CIRT development. So there will be some provinces that might be able to have a good attraction but have a good quality of service and accommodation. So parang ganun po, nagkakadukibibing. Yeah. And the only concept of that development, they are connected by access, by either road, seaport, or and whatever. And in the concept of TDA, so, kasi medyo big din po yung definition sa international na TDA. Uh, it's not about political boundaries, but it's about the uh, interactivity of different zonal areas. So parang it's more of an economic activity that exchanges and connecting each other. Po. So in the case of ecotourism, when we say ecozone, it's like a belt. And there will be a lot of different sites or activities that you could create a circuit or, or a, a series of different activities. Po. So when we say sites, it's just an attraction or a a, a defined space na may run na siyang polygons or they call it the technical description that really dedicated for certain physical development. So in that way, combining all those areas in terms of accessibilities, the different facilities required by the tourists, and that will create hopefully the concept of our uh, circuits and destination development. Which I think, siguro, Director Andrada, baka there's a need for you to bring down, lalo na din sa mga yes. LGUs, na ganito yung, yung plano nyo. Kasi ako, ang, ang, sa tingin ko, kaya uh, madami itong uh, ganitong declaring. Kasi, kasi nga, baka hindi nila alam na um, in the pipeline na naman yung development dun sa mga site nyo eh. So, um, hindi yung pagpasa ng isang legislation yung yun yung, uh, yung, <laughs> yun yung magiging solusyon para ma-develop oh. yung industriya ng turismo oh. dun sa lugar nyo. Madam Kasi parang ganun, Chair, ganun yung nangyayari, parang ganun oh. yung rational. Oh. Oh. ba Why Tama there's a need to declare? Madam Chair, merong kami kasing ginawang yung ano, guidebook po for local planning it is downloadable na ng mga LGUs, then we, it's a self-help parang workbook on how to do their own local plans. Ang naging kaso kasi noon, every time na papalitan ang local chief executive, mapapalitan si tourism officer. And the uh, knowledge management po natin, nung trinay natin previous na gumawa ng plano, nawawala ho. So we created this instrument for them to help. So currently po, uh, lagi ko namin, sabi nga ako ni Yusek Robin, that we continue capacity the LGUs. So yun ho ang kuminsan nagiging gap din on the, in ma maintaining the knowledge at the destination level po. So every time the LCE changes, napapalitan ho yung tourism officer, so, magkakaroon ng iba-ibang konsepto. So, yun po, nawawala yung momentum ng development. And that's one. But uh, since uh, given the Mandanas concept po, we are further pursuing po yung, yung program ng capacity building. Sabi nyo nga, oh, i-train them to understand yung circuits development, uh, defining all the different inventory of their areas na ma-create yung... yung yung circuits not only within their locality but how they complement and influence each other, other. Yeah. neighboring and to create a, a, a cluster ho, ng destination. Before po, may program ang DLG, yung parang tinawag nilang cluster program. There were only different neighbor LGUs could work together. Pero I think it's just a program ho, yung under the local support government ng LGS financing dapat uh, they call it uh, parang convergence din po but among LGUs sana to unite and work together kung uh, if you look at ng a good example ho niyan is like uh, in Ilocos North eh, yung sa Pasukin 
Uh, as yung katabi na naman niya is another des- uh, town na uh, we're in kilala naman sa attraction. But every time a tourist pass by and pasukin, bumibilo siya ng biskotso. So those who yung, yung, yung complementation ng activity na not the, the pasukin may not be a good tourist attraction, but they have the quality na nagkakaroon ng consumption yung turista. Dinadaanan. Opo, sa pagkain or yung sa uh, mga crops nila. On the other hand, kaya dumadaan doon dahil nadadaanan sila dahil nandun yung key attraction ng purpose ng travel. No, no, Actually, da- so, dapat nga ako ganun, Director Andrade, hindi nga dapat yung mindset per locality. Eh. Dapat it's, yes, pa. Mm-hmm. it's so, more nga for the region. A- ako, for example na lang, when nung nagdumagete ako, parang two nights in dumagete and then sakay ka ng barko papuntang si Kiho or stay another two nights, di ba? Yes, ma'am. Eh, technically, dalawang probinsya na yung napuntahan mo. Uh, di ba? With two different experiences. Hindi yung, mm-hmm. kasi parang with this declaration, parang pinopromote mo lang yung yung isang lugar lang, di ba? But it, hindi, hindi yun na nga, yung, kino, yung sinasabi niya na clustering. Dapat talaga, okay. it's, a series of events, diba? A series of experiences. Yes, uh-huh. uh, and if you So one big plan ang kinakailangan. It, uh-huh. It's not just individual, but like what you said, um, uh, Madam Chair, it it should um, show the interconnectivity with other na mga attractions na, na, na sa ibang probinsya para magawa naman po yung, yung sinasabi ni um, Senator Pia or Cayetano na circuit para ang ano ho, ang ang push naman ho talaga ng ano ng turismo is makapag-travel ka. Ibig sabihin from one attraction to another you're you're you're, you're telling alam mo pag pumunta ka dito sa akin o oh, ang next mong dapat puntahan yung nandoon sa kabilang bayan. Hindi mo sasabihin dito ka lang sa akin. So that you can spread the ano the the, the development. So we're hoping that um when we have cluster development ganun po yung yung pag-iisip. And actually, di ba, because of COVID, meron na rin tayong mga foreigners na hindi na umalis eh. Yes pa. Ba? Di ba, parang nagkaroon ng Siargao. market na as a Siargao. So ano na sila doon? In fact, ako nga eh, meron akong friend na nag-Siargao. Kinakwento niya sa Pia, as yung mga gourmet. Gourmet yung mga chef. Kasi nga, <laughs> kasi naiwan na nga doon yung ang dami ng foreigners na naiwan doon. Just to add, um, which which really falls into my personal, you know, lifestyle habits. Recently, I saw a post that they're recruiting um, cycling instructors because imagine Shargao, no, all the way in Shargao, they're going to put up a cycling studio. Because ganun karami na yung uh, young people. I I would think mostly from Metro Manila, maybe Cebu, who live there and they're working from there. And and these are people who like that lifestyle. So they have a gym that is parang ano, parang CrossFit. And then now they're going to put up a cycling studio. So grabe yung... And then again, it will keep on attracting more people. Like ako na, hindi pa ako, wala pa sa ano ko ngayon during COVID to be traveling. Pero parang the more na gusto ko nang pumunta kasi imagine may cycling studio na sila doon. And, um, and that's the personality of that place, di ba? Fit people, pati yung food. And not just gourmet, pero gourmet and healthy, di ba? May mga yung options nila doon are really on the healthy side. So yeah, very interesting things happening. Yeah, Madam Chair. Uh-huh. Um, for, for the information of um, Senator Pia, one of the, the big things that's happening right now in, in the Department of Tourism is a lot of interest on the development of not just the hiking trails, po, but including bike trails. Uh, we are advocating that um, slow travel. When you say slow travel, you don't take an airplane. You take, uh, you walk or you cycle uh, from one attraction to another. Because uh, you want the experience of smelling the, the fresh air. Pagkatapos hindi ka nasa loob ng isang bus na hindi mo alam kung sino katabi mo. You are on your own. And at the same time, it promotes a healthy lifestyle. So uh, we will be launching po, um, soon in, in Boracay cycling tours within the Boracay. So you can go around Boracay. And at the same time, I think in Region 1, si RD Jeff is almost ano, um, ready in La Union for his own ano, um, nature bike trails. 
So, oh, actually, you said, Robert, mas okay nga yan eh. Kasi, for example, si Sikihor, nauuso yung motorcycle. Mm. Diba? Mas maganda kung bicycle yung, yung ipopromote bicycle. natin instead of motorcycles. Mm. I'm, I'm so game. Please keep me posted. And you also mentioned, someone mentioned earlier about that downloadable um parang, ano, parang tourism pack for locals. I, I'd love to just take a look at it. And on the cycling, uh, just so you know, the Senate already passed uh, the Safe Pathways app. No? We're waiting for the House to pass it, which is basically interconnected uh, by lane. So um, I'd like to add to that that uh, you have um, beginner, both beginner and, and more experience-friendly um, bike paths. No? Well, for commuting, that's the same. But I mean, pagdating na din sa destination, um, you always want people to be able to experience it regardless of their level of skill and fitness, diba? So please remind them to always have an easy path so that ano, inclusive sa lahat. Kasi once na mahook mo yung beginner, uh, tuloy-tuloy na yan, regular na yan. Pero kung beginner pa lang, mamamatay na siya dahil ginawa niyong downhill ka agad na pamatayan. Kahit ako, maglalakad na lang ako, magtutulak na lang ako ng bike kasi hindi yun ang level ko. So, reminder lang in the development kasi there are many skills. We want to to ano, to ano um, be able capture to... Capture all. Capture <laughs> all. And then even with the hiking, just a, ano, a, uh, um, a tip lang. When I went to Korea, uh, napansin ko, um, Madam Chair, di ba? Now, now it's not, it doesn't surprise me. Pero then it was really surprising kasi familiar na tayo sa mga K-drama. When I went to Korea years ago, I wasn't even married or single. Um, nagulat ako kasi there were so, parang party, parang destination ng mga Koreano to go hiking. And then the women, bis na bihes, todo makeup. Todo makeup, todo forma. Of course, yung sapatos nila, most of them were wearing rubber shoes, but believe it or not, meron pang may meron pang naka parang ano parang lady shoes pa na sayo ko paano gagawin to but anyway to the makeup and then most of them would stop at the first destination which really wasn't hard to get to naman kasi may may cementadong ano but may path may path pa. sila pagdating nila doon parang restaurant and then bababa na sila beyond that point yung tumutuloy pa doon and kasama kami doon kasi yung goal namin was to really sleep at the, at the top Beyond that, mga makikita mo, ano na yun, yung, yung look nila, mukha ng hikers. Like kami, we were properly attired with, ano, with um, Gore-Tex jackets. But my point is, lahat ng levels nga kinocover, di ba? Yung umpisa, pang date lang, naka-makeup pa, kaya-kaya nilang akitin one hour of kwentuhan lang. So yun dapat yung goal natin. Kasi kung let's not, ano, let's not um, just target yung mga hardcore or yung mga super fit because the majority would be trying it for the first time. That's my, ano lang, input. Madam Chair, I'll have to go in a few minutes. Okay. Really enjoyed this hearing. Thank you. Thank you. For Thank you for attending. Um, anything else? Pero yun na nga, babalik tayo dun sa, dun sa um, issue na ang dami nila, 111. It, it, and it keeps on coming. Tuwing may referral, di ba? It keeps on coming. Um, I don't know if there's a middle ground kasi yun nga yung fear ko, 10 p.m. once I start uh, ano yan? Uh, pushing for a certain uh, bill, eh, di ba parang ano yung, bakit yun pinayagan ko, yung isa hindi ko pinayagan. So, very important sa akin yung standards na dapat pasok talaga dun sa standard ng DOT, standard ng DNR, and even TESA and DBM. Kasi di ba kung hindi naman talaga mabibigyan pala ito ng funding because of the Mandanas Garcia ruling, Baka ano na ito, mawawala ng ngipin ngayon yung ipapasa namin na bill. Kasi nga walang appropriations to begin with na, na pwedeng ibigay. So siguro, ibabalik ko ulit dun sa concerned agencies. Can you please assess all the areas uh, referred to the bill and um, give the committee your your opinion? Kung talaga bang pasok sila dun sa standard or baka there's no need kasi nasa pipeline na naman namin yan, nasa clustering na namin yan, or may, may programa na kami para dyan. Yun lang. And, and maybe dun sa, pagdating dun sa eco-tourism, lalong-lalo na dun sa protected areas, maybe Senpia, I don't know how we can uh, work around that. Study it. Kung, yeah, kung if there's a need to amend the, 
declaration or I don't I don't want to go back to every single bill eh. so maybe the yeah. IPAS or some kind of tourism or, or, or baka dun sa IRR nila baka meron yeah because baka like I said it's within, it is within their powers talaga yeah. except walang details kaya me I just assume because they really have the power to regulate it and to push for tourism but it's not when you said that is it clear there well it's not written black and white although it is clearly within their power so i'll, I'll go with your with your uh, not, but I, I i think Cynthia, it's more of a funding problem eh kasi parang sa office at ano local pa hindi para ilan lang ba sila tatlo apat or yeah. de ba maybe, maybe we can ask um um bmb to submit to us the ano the the personnel in each ano in each um at least in the top 10 or 20 or give Mga us a, give, give give us a, a picture like yung those that are earning uh di ba you asked earlier and budget sino ba yung marami, malaki so we have an idea how much and then those that are not earning how much like are they not earning because it's not a tourism site and maybe it was it is not meant to be so tama lang naman na tulungan lang sila para ma so that we have a clear picture we will include those uh, information on the specific comments we'll provide for each of the uh, bills in a later comment. Okay. Eh, Isaac Alabado, you're raising yes, your hand. Uh, yes, Madam Chair. Uh, for for the, uh, the BMD, I would attest that they have very good persons in the PAMBI. Um, meron lang po minsan lack of funding. Uh, pagdating na po sa pagdevelop ng business plans. Every, ano, every uh, PAMBI, they would uh, they're required to have business plans ibig sabihin parang how can they generate income for the the protected area uh, uh usually um no, no time kasi i became a, a regional director of davao so i was uh, always uh, working with the rec uh, uh, representing dot in in pambis and a lot are uh, they have very good ideas minsan kulang lang po talaga ng ng support on how they can actualize it. I think this is a very, um, for, for our, our colleagues in, in PAMBI and, and BMB, this is a very good time for us to develop glamping camping sites yes. in your area. Kasi yun po yung hinahanap ngayon ng mga tao. We can earn a lot of, ano, pero um, meron lang tayong mga, ano, like, um, for example, when we go into camping, nangangailangan ho talaga ng CR sa loob ng ano ng ng area sa, kaya sana ho e payagan yun naman naggumawa ng maliit na structure for sanitation purposes para ho merong um, shower room man lang or 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 proper uh, sanitation ang mga camping sites natin because i uh, we encountered this um, issue dati na parang gusto namin gumawa nun, pero parang um, the ecotourism hindi pinapayagan. Laws, hindi pinapayagan kasi it's a, a permanent structure, etc. Yeah. But that's for the, ano, the the health and sanitation of people. Yeah, and I think, Madam Chair, if I may, no, because of my experience doing this, uh, roughing it, yung talagang magbabato ka kahit saan, uh, that's, I've done that many times when I, mostly in the Philippines, because nga, most of our um, destinations uh, for hiking and camping, wala talagang structure. So, in at the top of my head, lahat ng pinuntahan ko na camping, you will rough it. You will, uh, the CR is nature. Okay? That's what it is. But the local. reality is, uh, In local. In local. local. All my travels abroad where I did the hiking Meron. business. So we have to make a decision. I, that's yeah. why I said it's a sensitive issue. Diba? I, I, told, I, I mentioned it's a sensitive issue whether whether itatayo mo doon is a refreshment station or a CR sobrang sensitive yan but that's precisely the job designated uh, authorized by law in every protected area bill that we passed and um i think you need to have workshops on this tourism and uh, DNR and then you you have them so that napapag-usapan na ano bang concern nyo ano ba exactly ayon yung madaming pumunta diyan then choose an area like i said in Mount Pulag Choose an area na hanggang dyan lang pwedeng mag-camp. And obviously, pag dyan ka nag-camp, dyan ka din mag-CR, di ba? So, pero actually, doon ko sa kami nag-camp, wala rin CR pa rin, ha? Wala pa rin. Wala pa rin. 
So, I mean, on another occasion, I can tell you the horror stories of having to use the toilet when it's freezing cold and you come out of a tent, blah, blah, blah. But the point is, sa Pilipinas, bihira yon. So, what, what are we going to do? You'll never really... The only people you'll get to go there are really hardcore, Madam Chair, di ba? And yeah, then, which, di ba, yung mga families, parang, y- hindi mo ba, uh, ano yung mga families to, no, it's not, it's, to hike because hindi siya family-friendly, di ba? I did it once with my kids and it's not, it's not um something that, it's not that pleasurable because isa-isa ko silang ilalabas, magsasquat, iihe, or, or ano, um number two, di ba? It's not it's not something that's fun, diba? You, you, it's not something that inaulit namin hanggang malaki na yung mga bata and they did it they did it on their own with their friends. So, it's really something we need uh, to Actually, Cynthia, baka we can do a tie up. Um we can dapat kasi makita nila ko ano yung ginagawa sa ibang bansa, diba? If if they don't see it, they don't know how things are done abroad. Na. Okay. For example, okay. dun nga dun nga sa site ko dun sa Yosemite, meron silang parking area na malapit lang dun sa waterfalls. Pero yeah. yun, hindi naman niya na di-disrupt yung, yung no. lugar. And then may banyo na din doon. Tapos yun, nandun yung mga basurahan. So, I mean, well-developed without harming the protected area. But I guess kailangan nga makita nila yung best practices abroad, which hindi ko alam kung may ganun tayong exchange program. I'm sure we can ask yung mga embassies nila dito to do a... Ano ba yan? Uh, okay, at a trip, di ba? May mga ganong exchanges na nangyayari. Baka, hopefully, next year when things are better, we can pursue that sentia. Yeah, yeah I, I would love to. And then in the meantime, um, kung ano pang maitutulong natin, matutulong ko, let me know. I'll have to go, Mr. Madam okay. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you, thank you for attending. So, you, you said, Robert, yung ang problema sa family, yung plano, well, number one, yung sa plano, and then number two, hindi yung plano nila, hindi nila nagagawa kasi wala silang budget. Um, from what I observe, but but I, I see there's, um there are families that have money and they have good business plans. So, medyo uneven lang po siguro yung yung growth that was, that was uh, explained to us or earlier. But um, ako, ang, ang, ang families po, um, if every family can be given enough support to have an uh, ecotourism po is a very, very lucrative um, business and attraction. Uh, si Malaysia po, pag, pag mag ano siya, uh, Senator, pag mag, mag uh, sa mga travel fairs, wala na siyang ilalabas kung hindi wildlife. Na para hindi, pero pag ganyan, pag ganyan sino dapat? Should it be the LGU? Should it be the private sector? Kasi lalang lalang na we're talking about a protected area, di ba? So, who will invest? Who can invest? Actually, um, meron mga, mga private sector if the, the terms are and conditions are, are, are very good. Pwede hong um uh, lucrative po yung ano ang ecotourism na ano hindi ah pero baka mga, kasi uh, baka i don't know kung si, si DNR would agree to that kind of setup kasi nga ang mindset nila protected area to eh yeah oh uh-huh. diba baka may prohibition uh, na they cannot hanapan oh uh-huh. hanapan ng balance talaga uh, kasi there's a need for funds so that we can protect the area also yeah uh, actually uh-huh. director Vicente dun sa Masumi anong setup niyo doon di ba protected area yun Yes, ma protected area po ang uh, Masungi and part siya ng uh, PP 1636. Uh, though meron po kasing uh, memorandum of agreement yung uh, nagpapatakbo ng uh, Masungi uh, and uh, there is no clear policy on the sharing of the income and uh, it appears na sa, sa management lang po ng Masungi na pupunta yung lahat ng income uh, without any share of the DNR. So that's why we are uh, negotiating with the Masungi, may, may-ari ng Masungi to review yung uh, yung kanilang memorandum of agreement and possibly convert that uh, memorandum of agreement into a special use agreement wherein uh, the income will be shared with the uh, PAMBI para makatulong sa financing ng mga projects ng uh, uh, conservation as well as the operation ng uh, uh, park and yung sa including dun sa subsidiary ng mga gastos ng mga pambi sa kanilang mga meetings and para sa mga capability buildings. 
Uh, with respect po dun sa kwan po kanina, yung uh, involvement po ng uh, uh, pri private sector sa development ng ecotourism and uh, investments in mga protected areas, uh, meron na po tayong uh, ginawa and actually isang uh, uh, pilot site po natin dun sa ating ecotourism development uh, with our uh, collaboration with the TOT and the other uh, related agencies. Uh, we are... Uh, we have uh, pointed or uh, identified the Bataan uh, Natural Park as one of the areas para i-develop sana or i-pilot yung uh, involvement ng private sector through the PPP scheme para mapumasok sila. And uh, from that uh, uh, experience, we can uh, develop uh, that uh, scheme sa ibang protected areas. But uh, while we did not see any uh, uh, a substantive uh, outcome or output to that. Do meron naman pero uh, medyo nalilimit lang. Uh, we are still uh, we are pursuing a uh, collaboration with with the PPP center ngayon with the assistance ng aming uh, anong biofin or biodiversity finance initiative of the UNDP and uh, they are now on board para tumulong and might develop yung ibang mga ecotourism products or ecotourism destinations with the investment coming from the private sector. And uh, malaki ang pasalamat natin sa PPP Center kasi sila din yung uh, uh, maagap or uh, ano to. Actively po sila na nagsisik out po sa DNR para po ma, ma bring by bridge yung gap within the DNR and the private sector para magkaroon ng financing yung uh, development ng mga ecotourism destinations as a way na makatulong sa financing din ng mga conservation activities dahil uh, as we know, kula naman po ang uh, ating uh, national budget para kukunan yung uh, pagkukulang sa budget. Okay. Okay. Um, anything else? Meron pa ho ba kayong gustong idagdag or? Uh, Madam Chair, Warner pa. Yes. I think, yung sa ecotourism po, I think ang hindi lang na-highlight kanina din. It's all the, all the protected areas are required to develop their management plan po. Within the management plan po, kung ma-develop po yun, doon po na-delineate na yung mga areas for recreation yung sa zone yeah. na nila. So kung ma-develop ko kasi yun sa kama institution na lang so and that will be delineated na ho yung mga areas ideal for tourism. Pero, pero siguro ang maganda din ho para may safety net. Baka itong mga development plans nila should be approved by a bo by a board. Ano paano ba approval niyan? Pambiyata Kasama uh, yes, ba ang DOT sa PAMBI? Uh, yes po, Kasama. member. Yes, member po ang regional director po ng uh, DOT dun sa PAMBI. And uh, dito po sa amin sa DNR Central Office, we review all the protected area uh, development plans. Opo, okay. development plans. And uh, gusto ko lang din po i-mention, aside from the protected area management plan, meron po tayong uh, ecotourism management plan uh, devoted uh, solely para... Uh, mabigyan ng uh, uh, tamang detalya, mas malalim na detalya kung paano i-develop yung uh, mga ecotourism destinations. And uh, meron yung uh, kanina sinabi ni Mr. Calabado, yung business plan. Yung, course, yung business plan, yun na yung uh, specific na pamamaraan. Paano i-develop yung isang identified na business. So lahat po ng business plan, yung ecotourism management plan, anchor dun sa uh, management objectives naman ng uh, protected area. Okay. Uh, siguro, Director Vicente, uh, pakireview na lang itong 111 bills kung meron na ba itong ecotourism management plan. Um, kung dumaan na sa inyo. Noted ma'am, we will uh, specifically mag-resesentro yung aming review dun sa unang-una identification kung yung mga kung yung mga bills na yan ay nagko-cover sa mga protected areas kasi pagka protected area po meron na po siyang ecotourism yeah, existing management na. plan and it identified na yung and delineated na yung mga ecotourism destinations uh, kung hindi naman po 
Uh, yun po yung mga areas na kailangan po natin tingnan, especially yung mga caves and mga wetlands. Na sensitive po kasi yung mga, especially yung mga caves, na kung hindi pa na-assess, ay may uh, tendency po na baka may uh, ay habitat po yung mga critical space, uh, species, pwede nga uh, ang classification yan kung ika-classify ay class 1 and 2, which, is, which are basically off sana sa uh, tourism. Uh, limited only siya sa scientific and research purposes uh, lamang. So yun po yung aming gagawin po dito po sa review. And we will also okay. provide po ma'am yung uh, hinihingi po ni Ma'am Senator Pia kanina dun sa number of personnel and the members ng PAMBI sa mga key protected areas. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, anything else? Ito pa pala yung under the National Ecotourism Strategy. Uh, BMB has identified at least 32 ecotourism sites na national parks. I think alam Mr. Vicente who yata ayon. Uh, yes po, yes po. So, po ito Wait, po yung may, mga... hindi pala kayo kasama DOT sa PAMBI? Ah, hindi po. Um, <laughs> depende region po. Region po, region po. Uh, region, regional office po ng DOT kasama po sa mga uh, PAMBIs po. Yeah, yeah. Pero dun sa taas, hindi na kayo kasama. Ganun ba yun? Well, opo, wala pong national level po na PAMBI. Site specific lang po yung mga PAMBI po. Or baka, sina, baka ano na lang yan, own initiative. Um, as, as chair, I think um, kasama naman ako dati sa ano sa Mount Apo National Park na, na PAMBI. Sa De, kasi baka <laughs> kasi dahil ano, uh, na-invite ka but uh, uh, not required. Maybe, ano, maybe. Diba? Apa, apa. Yeah. Baka, ang anong, maybe that is something that ano, we can also look at kung uh, baka pwede ano, kung ano yung magiging role nyo dun sa yeah. board. So no. I think pag, pag may area na dinidevelop dun sa protected mm -hmm. area sa ecotourism, dapat on board kayo no? dahil nandun yung uh, expertise nyo. Um, I, yes, sure. Um, if uh, a necessary document for um, sa mga PAMBI plans is an ecotourism plan. May word pa lang na tourism doon, edi dapat kasama yeah, na kami. Dapat nga, dapat. Oh, so, so baka, that, hmm. baka job specific, di ba? But when it uh, entails ecotourism development, baka dapat DOT should also be on board doon sa uh, management plan na gagawin ng PAMBI. Apo. Mas, mas makakatulong ho ang, ano, yeah. ang Department of Tourism in terms of that. Even in promotions, like a, just like what I said, uh, the ecotourism is um, really seen as uh, a very big uh, tourism activity. And um, uh, eco, ecology plus uh, environment plus tourism, that means a partnership between DNR and DOT, and DOT. so that it can work. Okay. Okay. Meron pa po ba? Or? Maidagdag ko lang po pala, Ma'am Senator. Uh, malaki po ang uh, role po ng DOT, kasama po ang DNR, dun sa pag-review po ng mga ecotourism management plans ng mga protected areas. At saka hindi lang po protected areas. Meron pong mga areas outside of protected areas that are uh, ecotourism sites. So all those areas, uh, ginagawan po ng uh, ecotourism uh, management plans, be it managed by the local government or the communities, so, uh, an ecotourism management is plan is required from this uh, protect uh, from these areas, and uh, it is the role of the DOT and the DNR and other uh, agencies in the region para e review itong mga uh, ecotourism management plans na ito. Uh, ang Boracay ba pasok jan? No, ma'am, hindi po pasok. Hindi po kasama pa ang Boracay sa mga ecotourism sites. Talag, uh, hindi siya kasama. Bakit hindi siya kasama? Parang leisure destination po kasi ang Burak. So kaya ang mindset walang pres pre ano, uh, preservation? Ganun ba yun? Ma'am, kasi iba yung may definition kasing operation ng ecotourism. So may, may batas po kasi yung Executive Order 111 Development of Ecotourism in the Philippines. I think yun din yung may isang may body din po doon at the regional level. And, and hindi pasok yung Boracay doon sa definition? Hindi pa. Parang uh, 
para kay kasi ma'am nagpo-pull siyang parang destination na sa leisure and sun and beach destination. So, but the ecotourism was created as a tool to for economic activity in affected areas that time. That's the concept ko. Para makapagbigay siya ng economic benefits din dun sa Hindi, pero siguro at the beginning, yung Boracay, way back, pasok doon sa definition niya ng ecotourism. Nung hindi pa siya nadidisco, hindi pa siya ganyan kasikat. <laughs> yung parang yung mga eight, uh, early 80s. 80s, 80s, 80s o oh, mga 80s. Uh, diba, I, I would assume pasok, pasok siya. Parang backpacker destination pa ko yes. siya uh, Na-experience ko yon as in hmm. ano. Gasol lang ang ilaw. Prestin pa nun, ma'am. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> nga. Ga- gasol nga lang yung tinirahan namin. Gasol lang, tsaka kolabo. Mm. Uh, <laughs> 90s. 90s. Pa, okay. Parang mm. 80s ba? Nay- parang ganon. Uh, late 80s. Late 80s. Uh, 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 ang, may, uh, ang may aircon lang nun, Fridays ata. Eh. <laughs> mm, yes, yes. Uh, tsaka isa lang, lang yung kanilang man. ano <laughs> pub. Basura. Oo. Oh. Tsaka yung puka beach na may puka shell. Talagang puro, Meron talaga. Puro, puro na puka shells. Oh. And I, I guess moving forward, dapat siguro lahat ng mga ganong ano, ang mindset lagi, ecotourism. Kasi di ba, para I think kaya tayo nagkaroon ng ganyang problema sa Boracay. Kasi nakalimutan yung eco dun sa development niya, di ba? Apo. <laughs> Uh, Madam Chair, I think meron ho kasi kaming dinidevelop na model. Yung we call it the tourist program. It's a tourism uh, towards improving yung resiliency, inclusiveness, and sustainable development. So ang concept po nun, uh, if we will develop a new destination, dapat yung mga elements ng basic infrastructure like ways, addressing the community needs, yung mga facilities, yung public, like hospitals, emergency system, yung mga ganun po. So, nandun, naka-in-place na. So, when the... Ah, naka-incorporate na. Uh, currently po, uh, I think there's a program being worked now uh, with ATB and work uh, Chesa to, to implement the project po. It will be a loan program muna po. In some areas of this will be in Sikihor, Bohol, Palawan. I think they're including na Baguio, ma'am, to improve it. Some parts in Davao, Samal. This will be some model sana if it becomes successful. Po. That house should be the template of destination development. Okay. Okay. Anything, meron pa po ba? Or... Um, okay na. Um, I'll just instruct ComSec to provide DOT and DNR copies of the 111 bills for their further study and comments. Um, maraming salamat po sa pag-participate nyo ngayong hapon. Thank you. Um, in the meantime, this meeting is hereby suspended. Maraming salamat. Ingat. Ingat kayo. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Senator Grace. Thank mm. you.